banana. Hey, welcome to Random Number Generation, the show about randomizers and the runners and commentators. We have a full house here behind it. I'm Sky Bills, your host, and this is episode 93DK64, randomizer.com. No style, all keys with two nos running. A few announcements here on behalf of Games Done Quick before we start this fantastic party here. And again, Chad, this one is dedicated to you this week. This was a widely requested randomizer. DK64, what a passionate community. And we're going to get into that more. GDQ is next. All women and femme speedrunning event Frost Fatal is coming up March 3rd through the 10th. The schedule's now out. Use exclamation point FF in Twitch chat to learn more. Prize submissions are open now till February 28th. Go to gamesdonequick.com slash fatal for more info. And happening even sooner, unapologetically, Black and Fast will be live on February 16th and <coughs> 17th. Again, not sure why the 19th is there. Come celebrate by watching a four-day event full of speedruns and black joy. Use exclamation point U-B-A-F in Twitch chat for more information. Fantastic event. Big fan. And also, would you like to work for Games Done Quick? Games Done Quick is looking for a new mainline event volunteer coordinator. Feel free to review the duties and apply at gamesdonequick.com slash jobs if you're interested. And with that being said, we have two dos here. Mr. Rip E, and of course, the one and only Spike Vegeta here, also in commentary. How y'all doing? What's up, everyone? Morning. DK, Donkey Kong. Oh, Yay. banana. We're all excited. I feel like there's a to reason we're saying that. Yay, we get to play Donkey Kong 64, except we're not going to play it. Dude, is going to play it. Yay. And before we start here, Mr. Rippy is going to give a brief explanation because you might be seeing like NSAC. You might, what the heck is that? So go ahead, Mr. Rippy, uh, take it away. So No Style All Keys, or NSAC, was a result of multiple conversations in the DK64Randomizer.com community. When discussing what later became the Season 2 race preset, a big point of contention was the K Rule fight at the end. Some people felt very strongly against fighting K Rule, myself included. After many discussions, it was decided to create a secondary race preset, which addressed three major concerns brought forward in the S2 preset discussion. One, an alternate win con than fighting K rule. Two, make items that are considered meaningless in S2 have value. And three, increase the theoretical complexity of the preset. From this, NSAC was born. NSAC addresses the first concern by making the win condition be collecting all keys. The second point is addressed by making the Helmgate lock behind four battle crowns and 15 banana medals. In S2, these doors are open, while in the vanilla game, these doors are locked behind four battle crowns and both company coins. The third point is addressed in multiple ways. First, melon crate rewards and banana fairies are shuffled into the item pool. A shop might sell you a fairy, and you might find a key flying in Castle Tree, or a melon slice on a Kasplat. <laughs> Second, Switch Sanity is enabled. This means that switches which don't lock Kong-specific checks can be shuffled to require a dip different weapon or instrument. Finally, locations for Kasplats, Banana Coins, and Colored Bananas have been shuffled. This preset prioritizes intuition and deduction, and also there are ice traps included in the pool of items. But besides that, everything is going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. So um, let's see here. So what we're looking at on the screen right now, this is actually the start screen for DK64 Randomizer. Um, slightly different, as you can see. Um, you can see all the moves. I think in the vanilla, you can only see like the percentage and the amount of gold bananas you have in the Kongs. Well, we got a little bit more... Uh, I guess complex with the start menu here so you can kind of see what you have. So um, in this case here, we have three keys of SAR keys, one, three, and six, two Kongs, Didi and Linguini Kong, and then three randomized moves. And in this case, it's a Rang Sprint, Feather, and Primate Punch. So this will be a good time. Um, if you're interested in what you see, dk 6 randomizercom is the place you go. So that being said, I think we're ready to start. All right, on your account. I'm excited for this. It's going to be a good time. So five, four, three, two, one, go. Woo! Oh, yeah. Again, like the primary goal that Kudos is going to be looking for here is making sure that he collects all of the keys. Once all the five remaining keys in the game are found, that will just, I'm assuming, just send you to the credits or like somehow. Yep. Yeah, that finishes it. So going in here, peeking that cage over to the side to see what sort of check was in there. Looks like Lanky has a uh, 
a, uh, a splat drop oh, in there. Oh, it's the donk! Right. Yo, donk donkey! Let's go! Why did that look? It looked like Chunky almost it popped out. Donkey's oh, so this... hyped to find early on because he fast. His roll is the best way to just move horizontally in this video game. Dude, look, so, look at this lovely lavender DK color, though. Very peaceful. So, Spike, it, you have never played NSAC, correct? I've never played it. Okay, so you're going to see a lot of fun stuff. One of the first things that I want to draw attention to is that the order in which chores are done in aisles when you begin the game is going to be completely different. Uh-huh. So you're going to see a lot of movement going in different directions, checking things that you haven't seen previously. The big one is definitely going to be checking the fairies immediately, as well as possibly hitting pound the X. Because pound the X, the X itself will probably have, or it, that is a spot for a Kasplat to, to uh, possibly appear. So there's a good chance that we're going to just swing by right there because it's right up in the beginning. And who knows, it could be there and have something important. Absolutely. We also have a Lanky Kong potion right on um, Cranky over there. That's going to be uh, interesting to get back to when we have some more money. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it's some kind of instrument. Um, I know Crank said instrument upgrade, but it's it can be an instrument there too. Um, let's see. So just doing some various. So as you can see, that's not a gold banana. That is a blueprint there. Um, those are in the randomized pool. We're gonna see what we got here. Ooh, that's a floating banana. Hey, you don't see those every day. One of my no, favorite don't. newer settings, I've been playing them in a different preset we have, is definitely just fairies can be floating like peas, they can be bananas. I love when they're like Kongs and just Chunky Kong is flying along. It's, it's adorable. It's great. So as I had mentioned before, we have the shuffled Kasplat oh. on the Pound the X pad itself. So you will possibly see Tudos go into checks where he only has maybe half the items that he needs to complete it. That is still oh, valid to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. That'll give me that instrument that um, was being sold in Cranky's here. Oh, yeah. Uh, to finish my thought, that's still going to be valid to do because there could be a Kasplat that is available halfway through a check where you don't need moves late to complete the full thing in order to access the custom Kasplat location. What's it going to be? All right, what's our predictions? Which one? I'm going bongos. Ooh, bongos is a good choice. I am going Guitar. for saxophone. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, it's gonna be none of us. It's gonna be sad. Triangle. It was not triangle. <laughs> we all suck. Yay. That's Whoa. it. Show's over. All right, wrap it up. G G. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Garbage. And then um, we'll actually start getting to levels here in a second. Um, I should probably do that actually. Um, so with key one starting off. That means we have level two unlocked, which is randomized level order. So we have Creepy Castle in level two. It's gonna t Ringo's gonna tell us where some things are here. So mm. forest crate near the Thornbine Barn. That's gonna be the melon crate that's there. As I had mentioned before, melon crate rewards themselves are shuffled into the pool. So melon crates can have one item. We also see a new hint here, scouring a specific uh, region in the game and the number of potions that are going to be inside it. That doesn't tell you if those potions are going to be worth a darn or not, but they do, it does give you an idea of what could and couldn't be in a specific area. That's something that was recently added as a part of Season 3. It's so also their castle surroundings yeah. on the path of Key 2. So that doesn't necessarily mean Key 2 will be there, just... It, oh, we see a fairy and a coin up there. Uh, it just, oh, ooh, the cops. It just means there is something there that at least logically you need to get that. Galleon Diddy Metal, all right. And again, all that those banana metals, there. that means you need 40 small bananas with that Kong to get that check. Go ahead. That fairy up there does bring up something that I forgot to mention before, which is that bonus barrels have been auto-completed except for the ones in Helm. Yeah, so like you don't need to worry about like needing guns for mini game until you get to helm at the very least. Right, there is another uh, random spot that a dude can spawn, but he's not here, so we'll just go right in. Yeah, this is like probably one of the more complex settings that you know, that you can be playing with right now. 
Hence, uh, of the race presets, yeah. definitely. Well, and just like specifically the fact that items are not in specific locations. We got Ooh. a boss fight. Sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> Factory Kasplat is our boy. Two more hints here. Uh, castle Underground. Okay, here's an example of multi-path hinting. Ooh. So this is something a little unique that um, I don't know if any other randomizers actually do in the way we have it implemented. Um, but basically, if there's an item that leads you to multiple things, it will tell you every single thing that the item leads can lead you to, like each individual path. So um, that's very useful, especially if you're routing out. It's because like you can use that to like negative for negative information so you can kind of figure out where things are going to be and where things are not going to be right very good to have yeah i feel, uh, like, the, uh, I feel no, like the zelda we, should pick that up i feel like that's really cool go ahead oh yeah no i'm sorry spike uh briefly inside fungi lobby we saw an example of switch sanity the, oh my god uh, <laughs> there we go switch there that is needed to get to open up to get access to the fairy that's hide that's hiding in there is normally locked behind Featherbow, yeah, but that is included in Switch Sanity. And here's so another one right here. Normally yeah. this is pineapple, but it's coconut now. <laughs> can you peek? I just can't peek what's on the inside. Because the, there's actually, that is a you know double locked gate. Normally locked by yeah, Featherbow looks. and by pineapple deeper in. Yeah, let's. Uh, it doesn't look like you can, unfortunately. Maybe with Sniper, but yeah, uh, yeah the draw distance. <laughs> so, Coconut Gun with Donkey is simply the first one. Now, question for you guys: Is that a? Could it theoretically be Coconut and Coconut? Um, I don't know actually. I haven't seen it. If it is possible. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I, yeah, I have no clue either. That's an interesting question. I know that we have some of the developers in the chat right uh, now. So I'm confident that if, uh, th that the answer will be given to us quickly. And if it's a no, it will be no, but no, but. <laughs> Seagull cannot. says cannot. Okay. So that, that's what it is. All right, there we go. So now, um, something to note here is that. Um, I guess fungi for oh, there's a potion in there. Do you see Ooh. that? Little, little yellow, yellow potion. potion in there. All right. That All could right, be any of Donkey's five moves, including that coconut gun that we saw locking that gate earlier. Yeah, so something to note here is that the uh, crate that was hinted by the... It's actually in that back area over there. See those thorny vines kind of behind the wheel there? Um, so that is locked behind a night gate. So it has to be nighttime going over there. Um, you are logically required to have a gun to get back there. So right now, I can't actually access that crate. I can access this one right here, but not the one over there. As we see, we have a good example of the shuffled reward. Uh, there was originally a misconception among some people who were nervous about it because melon crates normally have four melons, and people were thinking, oh, is that going to be four rewards oh. that spawn? And no, no, it's just the one. It's just the one. It's not that OP. That would be <laughs> absurd. You break open a crate, four keys pop out. Oops, all Kongs. Yep. Oh, the whole family boops out? That'd be <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't, I can't imagine the scene that would have that happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm one thing, yeah, one thing I'm trying to do in this rando, I'm trying to pay a little bit more attention to kind of like the nooks and crannies, and we kind of went over that, like because splats have like completely new locations here. They're completely custom locations we handpicked. Um, those, as well as the other kind of like handpicked locations. We can like the like the bananas, for instance, can end up like there's over fourteen thousand of them. So like Ooh. every time you play, there's probably going to be a new location you haven't seen before if you play randomizer. I'm right, sure you've had many experience. I'm sure you've had many experiences where you've went, oh. I didn't know that was a location when you were doing a seed and oh, absolutely. Dunk on you. Yeah. I am hoping that we see some of the really fun ones up here later on. Yeah, and I guess an example of one I hadn't seen before, um, 
we don't have this setting on for this, uh, this particular run, but you can actually randomize the fairy locations as well. Um, there's actually a fairy location in Castle Lob. Ooh. Hi, Key 4. That was totally oh, random. All right. That <laughs> was one of the only ones we didn't have a hint on, I believe, so far. So nice. So Key 4 located in the forest outside exterior. So cool. Oh, another cool thing about D the current version of DK6 for randomizer. If you pause the game at the very bottom, it will tell you the location where you're at. So if you're not really sure what a hint is referring to, just pause the game. And you can know where you know where you are. There's a lot of really cool quality of life uh, improvements that have been added to this game throughout its development cycle. Well, the randomizer throughout the, the continuous uh, continuous development cycle. And I really have to give a lot of credit to Larock, the Lamb, and Seagull for taking the time and looking at every single suggestion that comes up, and this and figuring out if it's possible, if it makes sense, and if it's worth adding. And it really is great that we have developers for this randomizer who are very active and very passionate and also incredibly talented. And where can you go to find out where these incredibly passionate people are to check out their um, thing that they made? Well, if you're so curious, you can check out DK64Randomizer.com. Dot com. Dot com. DK64Randomizer.com. That's DK64Randomizer.com. <laughs> um, kind of the unfortunate thing about Forest Level 1 is that I don't have Rocket Barrel to just rocket up to the top. So yeah. I'm kind of forced to climb to the top here, um, which is quite a bit of time sink but like the fact is there's a bunch of sphere zero checks up here and if you're not sure what sphere zero is it means you can get the check that you're going to want without needing another move to get it yeah anybody who watches a lot of sky show like you're probably somewhat familiar with how randomizers work and generally will refer to how complex or buried an item is or a check uh, based on their sphere. So like you know, saying, if you say sphere zero, you can, from the start of the seed, you could go right there and you can make that the first thing you, you get. You don't need anything. You don't need coconut gun or rocket barrel or anything to achieve that. But if you need just one of those things from sphere zero, then it's in sphere one. If you needed something from sphere one or behind, it becomes sphere two, so on and so forth. All right, so one thing I need to look out for is bananas. So we, if you remember earlier, we got a hint indicating that we have a boss fight in play here. Now, um, the boss door in DK6 for Randomizer, you don't even have to go in. It will tell you how many bananas you need. So I have third... If, I have a button here that will tell me how many current bananas I have, so I have 35. So I'm looking for five more bananas so I can hopefully fight this boss. I haven't had much luck, though. Um, I'm actually surprised. I have three Kongs, and I only have 35 bananas, and I've been walking around most of the level. So I wonder if that's just pretty unlucky or what. But hopefully yeah. we find one more. Yeah, there are certain areas that we're not able to get oh, to right go. now. We can't get over to the owl tree. Bam! And just like that, that's 40. And you also get that nice little pop-up down there in the bottom right corner from the hippo. Tell you, you got that what little, you need. The visual indicator was actually a result of a suggestion to include uh, non-auditory or more visual representations. As for banana metals, there's a very visual indicator on the screen that was used as our point of reference or what should be a good UI interpretation of whether you have something or not. And one thing I'm really proud about this randomize, I feel like we have a lot of like accessibility options yeah um like obviously this game is very like color centric um we implement a colorblind mode um so if you were struggling with i guess you have colorblindness being able to interpret that um we have several different colorblind options for you um so definitely makes the game a lot more enjoyable <laughs> I know nukes always would struggle playing Donkey Kong 64 OG because of in Glimmer's Galleon, the underwater level of this game, uh, very easy to get very motion sickness uh, to get motion sick from that level. So I yep. know y'all added a thing to just like the water does not oscillate. The screen shakes a lot less. The visuals are a lot easier to look at. It's really nice. 
All right, so yeah, water oscillation was my personal favorite ad. It just it is a relic of a of 20 years ago in game design. All right, so Puff Toss is the randomized boss for this first level, and this is quite the banger remix right here. But um, <laughs> Galleon, you can um. So I guess one thing I guess we'll talk about the bosses themselves first. Um, we shorten the boss fights a bit. Um. A lot of the boss fights in DK64 are five phases of the same thing, but just slightly changed up. Um, most of the fights we made three phases instead of five phases. Um, so you're not kind of like stuck doing a boss forever, you know? So um, so for Puff Toss here, instead of one, two, three, four, five, we have phases one, three, and five and remove phases two and four. It's kind of a necessary thing you got to do just to pump the value of just randomly doing these checks. Uh, just that, you know, who, if it was at their original length, a lot of people would be like, I'm just never going to do a boss fight. Those take way too long. But it's also got the buff of knowing what's going to be in there when you go in. So that's nice as well. All right, what's it going to be? A lot of things you probably need for key eight, so we'll have to see. I got my money on diving on this one. Oh, oh yeah, oh, diving is pretty powerful. Vine swinging. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's an interesting one because Vine swinging really does not unlock that many checks throughout the game. Um, it might just be, I'm assuming, to always get up into Helm. Yes. Yeah. So with Switch Sanity enabled, you will still need Vines in order to get from the Helm lobby entrance to the actual entrance to Helm. Uh, my favorite location is not here today. <laughs> ah, dang. No. Yeah, because Splats can just be in DK's house. <laughs> An uninvited guest, so to say. Big John, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pro -pro probably That's trying to steal a like candy poster. Jeez. That's a very popular location for uh, fairies to spawn if you have custom fairy locations. Okay, so something significant happened there. So remember, yeah. my hint where I got um, main aisle has one potion. That was the potion right there. That was orang stand. That is really good information for me because now even like I'm still gonna find these, but I know that I'm not gonna find any more potions on DK Isle here, on DK Isle check specifically. Now there is a world where the other Kongs or the other keys. Uh, or banana medals and stuff like that can still be there. But specifically, no more potions. No real progressive things are going to be there Correct. otherwise. Yeah, you like Cranky. And whenever you read those three words back to back, Forest Lanky Singer Bounce. Ooh, and we just got access to that logically. Yeah, that's, that all kind of makes sense. I'm kind of, kind of right, or trying to write down my hints here. Dude, you should have uh, had there. one of us do it. Oh, that would have been so sick. It would have. Eh, it's okay. I'm used to writing down hints, so not a big deal at all. Caves, colored bananas. So that also means that the boss check is going to be uh, dead in caves. <laughs> I am lost too, Wrinkly. I am lost too. One of the things that was enabled with the No Style All Keys preset is the way that hint distribution has been reconfigured. In Season 2 and now Season 2.5, there is a fixed hint distribution so that you know you get X number of, it would be foolish, you get X number of um, X's Way of the Horde checks. In this case, it is now completely up to randomness, and that includes joke hints being thrown in now and then and we have just witnessed one of them there right. are vines up here oh yeah <laughs> I, that, I love like watching you play this game because like every time you watch the stream it's like whoa that's a thing whoa that's you can do that <laughs> and I've played uh... many seeds of DK64 randomizer <laughs> And just, that's not normally an area you have to go to. All right, yeah, so now so chasing we, that way, the hero. Yep. 
Yep, definitely a good thing. Oh, we got something else up there. Ooh. Oh, wow. We can't, I don't, well, we'll see if we can get that. I don't think you can actually get that out of logic here, but yeah, we're short. <laughs> Big sad, but we'll come back with Rocket Barrel. We know there's a potion here. Yeah, that one being pretty hard required for Rocket Barrel. Ooh, a tiny move. We have got the one, the only mini, yeah, mini monkey. So Mini Monkey was on the Zinger Bounce. Mini Monkey was on the Zinger Bounce. Okay, let's go ahead and go to level two. Yeah, giving us another reason why Vine. So Vine Swinging was hard required, not just for Helm, but also to get that Orang Stand so you could go get that Mini Monkey, which is barely on the way of the hero. Oh, you know what? I just did a dumb. So remember we got hinted that Forest Lanky holds Tiny Kong. Well, I could have done another Lanky check there, but that's okay. Um, we'll come back there in a moment. Sure. Yeah, it's, it is impressive having to like play the mental game the whole time of, you know, you're trying to move around somewhat optimally, somewhat fast in any sort of environment like this. While also like, Keeping in your head, like, all right, what are all the hints I have? Where should I go? What order should I do things in? Um, it's okay because Castle Underground as well as Castle Surroundings were both hinted areas. So I'm going to just go ahead and hit up both those areas. Oh, and we got a crown. Remember, we need four crowns to beat the game. Yep. That is always a good thing to see. I'm not going to buy anything right now. Yeah, bananas and blueprints are both good, obviously. Tudos is going to have to reach 70 of those in order to get into Helm later. And just a random amount up to 70 to get into the various levels. Right, but that's so also something you have to some. route as you go. So I have to ask an important question here. Are you going to be dumping any blueprints? Oh, oh, oh yes. That is absolutely <laughs> going to be a thing. I don't know if they're in chat or not, but the Sound Defense donated one dollar during the Donkey Kong 64 run this year's AGQ for every time Old Banana was mentioned. Well, we decided pre-stream going live that it also extends into this stream as well. So have fun. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Sound Defense. Really appreciate all the work you've been doing. All right, DK Face Puzzle. Maybe this will be our key seven. And it is Grape Shooter. That could potentially be the thing that it was referring to. That's even more of... Well, do we know if it's Vanilla Grape? If we saw that or not? For uh, Owl Tree? Ooh, I, I didn't actually it. peek that. That's a good point. So There's definitely Grand two things Castle. to keep an eye on when we go back to uh, Forest soon. Grape Shooter. Right. Mm. Okay. Oh, and you have a gun now. You have a gun now to make it nighttime. Yep, we can change oh. at night and we can access the uh, night area for that other way of the horde hint earlier Ooh. in forest. Saucy. Yeah. All right, but yeah, I'm just going to clear. I'm, I kind of want key two, so I'm finishing clearing out surroundings um, and we will go ahead and go back to forest here once we do that. The setting makes the environment so colorful. There's just crap everywhere. There's just, there's some red stuff. There's some blue stuff, some green chunky bananas. It's great. Well, also the thing I like about that too is like consider like these standalone bananas here, right? Like they're still always like grouped up and use like five or 10. So it's really yeah. easy to keep track of where of how you're doing and where things are. So it's pretty neat in that regard. So I want to get in here. Yeah, this check actually in logic with Grape Shooter and a rank stand sprint that we got to start with. Yeah, this is not a common one to get access to early on logically. And again, underground is hinted, so good one to check out. Well, I guess it's almost in logic. You do technically need trombone as well. Oh, but nice. Hey, close enough. Hey, nice. I'm Ellen. That's our junk item. <laughs> yep. So if you're feeling with like red or not red rupees, blue rupees in uh, Zooter, <laughs> that that's our junk item here. It's just a melon slice. All right, we'll come on down here and then we will get out of here once we check this guy. Okay, well, I'll just buy some gold bananas now. Yeah. 
Yeah, we did get to see one level earlier that Factory uh, is going to cost 18 GBs to get into. Now, I'm assuming it's not necessarily complex level order. Generally, five should be more expensive than one through four, but less than six and seven. To elaborate, uh, yeah, that is correct, uh, Spike. Okay. To explain the briefly what complex level order is and what we refer to as simple level order, those are in terms of some item as well as Kong distributions throughout the game. So, for example, we need to have diving before we enter level four, as well as vines and barrel throwing. Additionally, there mm -hmm. are there's a specific Kong distribution in terms of you are expect you are going to have at least X Kongs before level three, four, or five. I think is the distro. Yeah. Um, in that is what we refer to as simple level order or slow. In complex level order or clo, those precautions are completely tossed to the wind, and it really is a lot more disorganized. A lot of the reading that you can do at the beginning, knowing, oh, I need to be in these levels in order to get these moves, specifically, is going to be gone. So you could have, theoretically, access to level 8 from the beginning, and you get vines there and not get barrels until, like, level 4, two hours later into your seed. Oh, baby, getting to do this with just a vanilla grape shooter. Funny enough, I always love this about Dying on 6-4 because I did not realize this until there was a randomizer. Uh, the different guns actually have different power ratings. The grape shooter and the feather bow are bad. <laughs> They're the two <laughs> guns we have. Uh -oh. I hear B. Where is... Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Check, checking this because this could be Tiny Kong. Nope. Is our girl? Nope. Yeah, so I'm thinking Tiny is going to be. Oh, well, I hope to God that Tiny's not on Rabbit Race, but I'm pretty certain Tiny is going to be in the other mushroom check that I did yeah. too. Yeah, um, for whatever reason, they put two lanky rooms right at the top of uh, the mushroom. One we knew we had to do, but potentially you had to do both, which is. A little nutty. Diving. Get away from me. Play of the hero diving. So those are the scariest enemy in the game. You <laughs> normally would not come across them just walking around in the wild like you see there, but it's a randomizer. You know, we like to swap things around. Uh, if they see you, they instantly kick you out of the level. It's hilarious. Yeah, this is also not... This is not something that's in the base game itself. Someone suggested, again, in the suggestion form on the Discord at discorddk 6 randomizercom the bringing out the cops from the, uh, one of the minigames into the regular game. And these cops did not have outside of minigame logic uh, enabled. So a lot of that was written custom on the fly by our illustrious developers and now we get to deal with this nonsense. That is in it's fact great. true. Um, so I got diving here. I wanted to mark that. So no, there's another crate in here, but let's see what the uh, check is in the room first. Yeah, actually got quite a bit of value in here because you got the regular, the mini game barrel check. Uh, but in addition to that, you also got some donkey bananas. Oh, actually a lot of donkey bananas in here. Oh, got me a rainbow coin. Uh, you've and also got I can't this forget about the fairy rain. check either. That is also in yep. here. Donkey has got some value. Now, one thing I want to clarify with you guys, because again, I haven't necessarily played with these things. I'm assuming it also adheres to the not tag anywhere logic you have to keep in mind. Correct. Correct. Um, yeah. The so, like ditty stuff and whatnot isn't going to be in here. Yeah, there's a pretty big like misconception that tag anywhere logic is going to be really, really fun. But like it really just makes seats really flat because a lot more things just become spheres here. Oh, my God, I cannot take a picture. Uh... All right, we're going to pause buffer this. There we go. Whew! Yeah, it's a little harder when they're not just a fairy. <laughs> Spike, what was that sound? You were like, like I, you felt that pain. You were like, like, oh, dude, <laughs> I hate fairies. 
<laughs> I hate fairies. Like, the more you play Donkey on 64, you're like, okay, I'm used to, like, a lot of the special stank it's got on it. <laughs> um, but, man, Special's fairies fairies blow, dude. It sucks. Yeah. All, right. All right. I'm, like, 90% sure this is going to be Tiny Kong. Yeah, there's only, what, one, two, Linky? There's also, I guess, his banana metal. Did I even get that? Well, he's five short, so could be on that. Could be. There could just be five bananas in here, eventually. Uh, there look at it that. is. Oh, it's a nice trap. No. Oh, my goodness. Wait, I was wondering when we were going to see our first ice trap. Yeah, they were so popular in Zooter, they had to bring him over. They just freeze you in place and they go, wah. Just like that. Of note, these, this is not a custom model that was added to this g the game. The Ice Trap model does exist inside the files. It's just Where been repurposed on the back. Oh, dear. Oh, I hate it's oh, on. I, it has. Oh, it's literally on no. the rabbit race. It's on the it's, rabbit race. There's no way it's not, right? The, it's that is or a, it's a shop. It, it could be in. It's that or Lanky shop. That's the oh, only no. other option. Oh, this is, baby. This is a stream value seed right here. Yep. We need trombone likely to save Tiny Kong. In which case, we will go back to level two. Yeah, because we already have uh, vanilla grape, as it turned out, to get in there. We already have a ring stand sprint. It's just trombone to wake the idiot up. All right, we're going to check some uh, areas where Splash can be quick. There's one more crate over here. Ooh, and we got a crown. Only two more to go. Um, the downside is I have zero medals, which you need more yeah. of, so that's going to be a little bit more of a problem. I was trying to take note of even if there were, like, any being sold in shops, and I don't remember any being sold in shops. So, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe we'll get lucky. We'll see. Rut row rag. <laughs> All right. It's of note in the game, there are 40 banana medals total, and you need 15 in this preset, while there are 10 battle crowns total, and you need four. And just for confirmation's sake, let's head on over. Yeah, because this is one of the various checks that will hint what it has. Oh, wait, this could be it. This is this is lobsters. Go on. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh, I was like, can that, can Kasplats, can those be referred to in that regard? No. <laughs> um, let's just move on. <laughs> let's move on. All right. So, anyway. I'm looking at your background, Tudos. How many copies of Donkey Kong 64 do you have? Is that three or four? I own seven copies of the game. Yeah. Are you trying to like do that Space Jam DVD thing except with oh, DK64? I forgot about Wii U VC, so I actually own eight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> RIP the fastest way to play the game. Um, so if, Ni if Nintendo ever come a knocking and they're like, do you own this? Yes, I very much own this game. I have given you far <laughs> too much money for this game. How about you, Spike? How many copies do you have? Uh, I got the, I got the little yellow banana cart sitting right there. I actually got nostalgic yeah. like two months ago on stream, and I was like, you know what? I want to play Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> and everyone was like, yeah, what's the big deal? No, 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 like OG. <laughs> I don't want to be able to tag anywhere. I want oh, that no. chunky N64 lag. It's gonna be great. <laughs> you want the full experience, Spike? Uh huh. Enough randomizer, like it worked my routing brain so much to where I was like, I want to see what kind of BS route I can just make up for a 101% run on it. It was fun. It was genuinely a good time. Like this game definitely has a lot of faults and whatnot, but like it is a fun video game. It's it, if you like collectathons, you can't get bigger than this. How about you, Mr. Riffy? How many copies do you have? I have my original copy sitting inside my N64 on my desk right now. Oh, wow. That's amazing. How about you, chat? Does anyone does anyone have two-dose meat at eight copies? Does someone have nine <laughs> copies? Yeah, who's got I the will say ride? Two of my copies were just given to me by people. It's like, oh, you're the DK64 guy. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so popular, especially with this game. <laughs> 
All right, so again, what we're doing here is we're going on the a kind of like a surrounding zone. So we got a hint that key two is in the castle surrounding somewhere. Um, that includes the randomized splat location. So I'm trying to be very thorough in where I'm looking. Um, so I'm checking the places where I wasn't at the first time over here to make sure I just didn't miss any splats. Yeah, your camera work has to be so good with this setting on. It's one I've never played with. It's just, it's very set that items will always be only in the vanilla locations they would be in the main game. It's kind of weird to say that, but there's, you know, there wouldn't normally be bananas lining this wall right here that Tudos is checking. All the bananas would be in their vanilla spots. Tudos, what is this emote? Why are, I'm like trying to read this and, and I know I have old eyes and all, but what is this? So, I can read it out for you. Yes, okay. go ahead, Mr. Rippy. <laughs> It's very important, and I need everyone in chat to uh, ask Tudos this question. Hey, Tudos, why don't you play DK64 anymore? I think it's pretty blanking rude how you're acting right now. Most people only follow you for your DK64, and you're losing followers tonight acting like a child. <laughs> so I did. So that was a legitimate reaction to be playing not DK64 on my stream. I think I was playing like Splatoon or something. But yeah, yeah you were. Yeah. That was that was Splatoon at that point. <laughs> yeah. So so I did what most normal people do when they see a coffee pasta and make it a coffee pasta and an emote. But it, it's so tiny. <laughs> I'm trying to read like the text on the emote, and I'm like squinting my eyes. <laughs> For the, uh, for, if you know, you know. That's the point. Of course, of course. Does, that, <laughs> does anyone else have a favorite Tudos emote here? Let's let's see more Tudos emotes here for folks on uh, on YouTube that can't see this. I, just know that it's a copy pasta squeezed into this tiny thing in chat. That's impossible to read, but it's one of those if you know, you know, like Tudos was saying. Oh, goodness. I like more. Right. Stream lore is the best. It really is. So, um, going back to the game, um, Castle Surroundings... Ooh, there's a pearl. Um, <laughs> does include this room right here. So this is a greenhouse. Oh, chat. Someone in chat typed out the whole thing, Mr. Rippy. <laughs> <laughs> Another we, pearl? We... We have it saved in multiple places and multiple versions, and it is it is a great copy pasta. I think what's funny uh, more to that story is that it was someone who got banned for complaining, and Tudos, you banned them in the chat for complaining that you were. <laughs> then they came back, and the account was like, Tudos doesn't play DK64 anymore, or something like that. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Also, Didn't um. I noticed the FBI emote that look, reminds me of the Mahjong for folks who play Mahjong Soul. Is that where it came from, Tudos? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, heck yeah. That oh, is my single stop. favorite e Oh, there's key. There's key too. Let's go, right, baby. Yeah. yeah, yeah that that is my single. Anyway, that is that FBI emote is my single favorite Mahjong emote. So I'm like, you know what? Let's bring it to my own stream. So now I have it. I love it. And also, we, we have to tile at some point, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, complicated so is Mahjong to learn. Not really. I Then again, though, I play Magic and you do in Pokemon, so I guess that's not uh, much coming from me. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's quite the uphill battle if you're trying to learn, like, not on a client. Because the problem is, like, mm -hmm. a lot of the... Um, I guess, like, if you're learning on tiles in re in real life, right? Uh -huh. The tiles don't have numbers in the corner usually, especially if you're trying to play, like, Richie Mahjong, which is kind of like the in one right now. Mm -hmm. So, like, just not having the the uh, Arabic, Arabic numbers on it just makes it way... Like, the level to get into it is a lot higher. Uh -huh. So, makes it difficult. Um, someone in chat earlier asked if I speed around Crazy Taxi at one point. That is correct. Um, I love Crazy Taxi. It's hard on the hands, so I don't speed run anymore, but I love Crazy Taxi. Were you hyped to hear Sega when they announced, like, we're going to bring back a bunch of old franchises, and among those was the Crazy Taxi? It, de it depends if they, uh, 
if they uh, keep the movement the way, like, or it doesn't sure. have to be exactly the same, but, like, it's got to have the same feel, right? Or, like, it doesn't necessarily... Like not quite the same, but like something that still feels good. I'd be, I, I'd accept that, but like yeah, it, it really depends on how they do it. Okay, so this there one was oh, it's strong Kong. Ah, uh, there was that six uh, spiritual successor game to Crazy Taxi that came out uh, oh, last year, which God did not. It had none of the spirit. It did not. It did not land. Bang. So, uh, any other cool lore with this game, either with your own individual communities or something that happened with the community at large? Give me some good DK64randomizer.com community stories. I'd like to hear some. Uh, Piper's oh. bad at fly swatter. No, go ahead. <laughs> that one's good. Uh, we had last week or two weeks ago, a lamb who's one of the developers of DK64randomizer.com has been working for years now on the full ass demos uh, legal task for DK64 101%. Previously, the versions that have been released of it were not eligible to be submitted for one reason or another. And the lamb has finally gotten to the point where they were able to do everything and have it be legal to submit. And popular... A uh, community member who we all enjoy griefing, JX Jacob, discovered something <laughs> that saves like half a second in terms of movement oh, no. by accident. And Balam was not happy oh, about this. The <laughs> whole thing has to be redone. It wasn't a whole it wasn't a whole thing. It was probably like two hours worth of work in, in total to correct everything, but it was still just like, why did Jacob have to find it yeah. exactly? two weeks before the video goes live as opposed to in any point in the two years that the task was being developed. Also, look who just showed up in chat speaking of that story. Uh, uh, <laughs> I have been summoned. There, there, was, a, there was a string of profanities from a very funny British man. <laughs> Punches on the path to all the keys. No, the rare, rare golden banana's dead. This is the this is the saddest news I've uh, seen so far. Uh, Throw this seed in the trash. Unfortunate. Okay. Right, well, we're going well back that's to the crunch. crunch. Yeah. Forest Mills Kate. Well, I found uh, diving there. Yeah. Um, and let's check out level three before we go into the next level, because I don't think I looked at that yet. Yeah, okay, no. so I have no context for this, but, you know, I like to answer chat questions every once in a while. So, hello, chat. Y'all are wonderful. Thank you so much for being here today. Here on uh, Random Number Generation on GDQ Hotfix. So, we have a question. What is the original lore behind the bean? No clue what this means. If this is for some reason not appropriate for stream, let me know. But I just thought it was a really funny question. No, this is that's definitely a stream appropriate question. Okay, um, okay, all right. Just wanted to double check. <laughs> <laughs> but um, if you've ever played Zooter or like another randomizer, right? Like, there's always like one or maybe a couple random junk items that are just like usually almost always worthless, but like there's like a small chance that they're worth something. Um, well, that's the bean in this one. The bean unlocks exactly one check, which you can peek. Um, so it is kind of a meme to get it, so people go crazy and like, oh, it's, oh no, not this check. Oh, the kaiju check. Oh my goodness. Oh. All whoever, you need is hunky chunk. Whoever, whoever confirmed the seed, uh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> you are, we, obviously, it was... Uh, someone ran through this beforehand to make sure that this was like doable in the time frame because as with every other randomizer it could go from like we've had people beat NSAC seeds in under an hour and a half we've had people who are very Ooh. good at this game beat NSAC seeds in four hours so whoever went through the process of confirming that this was doable in a reasonable amount of time and said yeah this is we are going to go with the seed that does this check uh, bless your heart. <laughs> Absolutely. Betting is obviously a necessary thing you have to do with randomizers whenever you're going to do like a showcase of them and whatnot. But it's really funny always sitting there in the back of your head like, 
did they just like God route this seed and yet I'm coming in and like doing all the wrong stuff, you know? So, But it's funny, we were able to read a hint back there that Primate Punch, Chunky's just punch move, which we got to start with, is on the path of keys five, seven, and eight. The three keys we're still missing right now. And then we got hints to follow up for basically potentially all those things. Yeah, because we have uh, Chunky Crypt and Castle, which is punch locked. We have ka uh, Kaiju in Factory, which is punch locked only to turn the boss, uh, or only to start the boss fight, not necessary to finish the boss fight. And for eight, it could just be holding a move. It's also, yeah, storage, I think, was on the path of like, like something in storage was on the path of something else. And that that's three checks that are locked by Chunky's Primate Punch that are there. And that's just the stuff that I know about, obviously, with these different checks. That could be a little bit different. So there's potential we've seen a lot of it. We just need the Chunkmeister. We just don't know where Chunky is. We probably know where Tiny is. We don't know where Chunky is. Yeah, we do have Chunky a potion is on a factory because flat. So we do technically know where they are. Oh, OK. Um, I must have missed that hint. I could... Oh, there's Rocket Barrel. We do need that. Oh, Maybe. okay. And that's that move at the top of Forest. Yep, yep. Whatever that is. So Galleon Shops is path to key 8 and only key 8. So it's right now it's kind of unclear if that's actually going to lead to something useful. Um, remember that... Um, it's it's leading to one item that's needed to key it, or it may be the item itself. So we'll see if um, there's something else that Rocket Barrel leads to. Ooh, Grape to get over the lighthouse area. We got that. Grape with uh, some pretty high value this seed so far. Dude, everything is just unlocked with Grape. Switch Sandy is um, peeing a little bit nice so far, but I have a feeling it's going to rear its ugly head later. Wait, are you saying it's Grape? Value? No. Oh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Oh, indeed. All right. So yeah, um, I wish we're going to do a little puns. bit more clearing here. A um, couple of quick checks in this area of Galleon. Now remember, I did get a pearl, but I don't have the pearl to hand in. We made it so that you only need one pearl to uh, get the mermaid check. Otherwise, it'd be pretty crazy. Yeah, there's These only five pearls in the game. So the fact that you found two of them literally right next to each other is uh, pretty low odds of that. Aw, oh, shoot, I missed. Oh, that would be so it sick. These are also Here, things try that it again. can tweak I the settings you. of. <laughs> I already hit the switch. It's too late. <laughs> Rip. Rip. See, now Rip you can do it, it just won't be as impressive. Yeah. So I've never played this vanilla. I plan on doing so at some point soon. Which animal friends are in here? I've seen On Guard and I've seen Rambi. Is Winky that, in that, this one? That, that's the whole roster right there. <laughs> I love yep. Winky the Frog. Why isn't he making a comeback at all? Winky was the one and done, man. He got out Aww. right after that. Aww, DKC Winky. won. That was it. I love Winky. I'm, I'm personally questioning why you can't control Squawks. That right? Too. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm assuming, Tudos, you know this. You know the Squawks at the start of Jungle Japes? They have a hitbox. They hurt you, right? Yep, that is correct. The squawks will hurt you if you touch them. What? Oh, that is a shitty spot for this. Oh, that is a bad spot for this guy. Oh, what a play. What a read. Start coming in because that was about to launch Diddy off the top. I can't <laughs> believe you just got your first banana medal of the seed. All right, and then there is also a dirt patch at the bottom here. Dude, look at the... Here's where all the medals oh, are. Wow. The mother load of banana medals. Let's go. And we need 15 of those. We got two of them so far. I love uh, anytime something is on dirt, any of the dirt patches. Because, you know, as a randomizer player trying to write notes, I'm sure, Tudos, yours looks really nutty. Uh, just trying to write down all like shorthand for, oh, this area has this, this and that, this and that. So for dirt, any dirt patch, it's just like, I write down like roof dirt. 
A splat dirt. <laughs> Anything, it's just something dirt. That's all Wait, it is. What does roof dirt look like? <laughs> it, <laughs> you could mistake it for something oh, else. I came back. Are you I'm, I Are almost you warped away. I said I didn't say anything. Listen. <laughs> listen, if you wanna think cute about it, Poppy, I'm holding her. She, oh. she wanted her papa to hold her. That's right. Oh. That's right, baby girl. <laughs> All right, so the Rocket Barrel is going to directly give you something else. One of Diddy's... Oh, other two moves. You only got two left. When did you get... I'm hoping this is Peanuts because obviously it's a lot more... Uh, un un unlocks a lot more stuff than the other one. But yeah, we did. Ew. Oh, sorry. My child is fishing. <laughs> oh, no. We don't have a video of Spike and Poppy right now. Oh, I wish we did. Oh, my goodness. Oh my I'd be God. okay with putting it on stream. Oh my yeah, as opposed to doing the probably the correct check to do right now, Tudos. <laughs> oh. um, I'm trying to. Um, I'm trying to do it, but like there is my favorite check, which is the Mechfist check. And there's an agenda of people who want the Mechfist to have something. So hence we call it the Mechfist agenda. So it is time to check the mech fish. The right check. This is definitely casually bottom five bananas in the game. I hate the mech fish. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. agree. Do either of you have like a what? worst gun? What? Are you a monopoly? A monopoly? Cool. Oh right. no! So, okay, spring was just axe. Okay. Right. Spring, all the spring checks can be kind of circumvented, so it's not the worst move to not have, but of the functional moves, uh, Tudos now has all of the Diddy ones. Uh, if you had shot that while you were up there and it just went pop gun charged within two seconds, that would have been oh, unreal stream value. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Okay. All right, time to go over to our best friend, the Mechfish. Now, um, we went a little easier on you in DK64Randomizer.com. So instead of being had, or instead of having to shoot the switches three times each, you don't have to shoot them once each. It's pretty great. Thank you. Spike, to answer your question, my least favorite checks in DK64 Randomizer or otherwise are absolutely going to be the checks involving Baboon Blast. Yes. Those are. Though, like, there's a lot of, like, item locations and just mini games and stuff that you get better at the more you do them. I like some that, like, uh, casually are infamous are either of the Beetle Racings. I'm like, yep. once you do Beetle Racings enough, they're not bad. They're genuinely not bad. Baboon Blasts with Donkey, those stay really hard, especially okay. when you're trying to go fast in the slightest. There's also definitely an element of confirmation bias on my part, and um, I apologize for doing so. I feel like it is never just one Baboon Blast check. If you have one, you have to do that. Uh -huh. You see Blast is on the way of the hero? Oh, God, please. No. Yeah, because th then the, the easy one is it's just inside the Japes check. The problem is that you also have Castle Tree because that has no fewer then three checks inside it, as well as an additional Kasplat location. Uh -huh. All right, we're we gonna all clear. get to see Poppy for a second there. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, you got it? Nice. Yeah, we nice. did. We did. I just want to make a note before we got too far away from that. We all did get to see Poppy for a second. Please go ahead. So checking a few more shops here. I actually didn't see that chap. I don't know if there was a vial there or not. It was mid. I don't care Tiny about buying blueprints right now. <laughs> yeah, again, stuff we know, we know Chunky and his, more importantly, his fist are on the way of the hero, so we need to find him. Uh, we know Tiny with Mini Monkey is on the way of the hero. I think that's smart to be buying banana medals at this point. You kind of want those to get too far behind if you see them. Because there's, like, you know, we need 70 out of 201 golden bananas. There's a lot of those in the game. There's a, Like we were saying earlier, there's only 40 banana medals. So needing almost half of them, it's a little risky to just run past any of them, even if it'll cost you a pretty penny. 
with shuffled coin locations as well, you tend to wind up by the end of the run with more coins than you would if they were in their vanilla locations. Mm -hmm. So shops become a lot more useful in this case when it comes to finishing up banana medals. You're, you may be short for a moment, but really it is only for a moment. There's a really good question I saw in chat. I guess this can be applied to like randomizers in general, but the question was, is it possible for a randomizer seed to be soft locked in its progression? Uh, maybe you can answer that one, Spike. Uh, sorry, I was trying to stop. Uh, is it, you say preventing soft locks? So the question was, is it possible for a randomizer seed to be uh -huh. soft locked in its progression? As in, you get yeah. X item to access an area but that Ooh. only the area is only X accessible with that item that you got. Very interesting to see that item there. That's a one in three chance that could be that hunky chunky. Anyways, though, yes. Uh, so it is currently, it's all built into the logic. Uh, I actually don't know off the top of my head. Do we have a no logic setting for DK64? There is one, but I would, I don't believe anyone actually like enables it unless they enjoy suffering. <laughs> there is a big problem with no logic DK64, and it involves a lot of, um, there's a lot of shop checks. Yeah. Because that's where all your like moves are. So, like, they have to be in the pool. So like uh -huh. the moment you have a shot or a you have something in a bad spot, it's just GG. Yeah, you might just not even, you might be able to not even afford it or anything. But yeah, yeah no, just, there should be. Go ahead, go ahead, do this. It's just, it's just there's too much of a chance that something like that can happen. So yeah, it's not there's, really popular to have no logic. Yeah, logic in general is just a concept in randomizers that were adopted to say. Hey, okay, in order for you to get the check in Chunky's Crypt, you need Chunky Kong and you need Primate Punch to get down there, along with Pineapple to open all the doors. Uh, it has to make sure that the game gives you all of those things and they're not locked behind that stuff. That's just the basics of logic. There are no logic settings, which are relatively popular in some of the Zelda games that, you know, like Link to the Past, OOT, that are super busted games. And you can do basically whatever you want. You can click through all the walls and everything. Believe it or not, DK64, like I said, this game is very well documented to be pretty broken. But there's just little logic quirks where you would get an unbeatable seed pretty easily. There's the I think a lot of the fun of a no logic seed is kind of going in and being like, all right, it's not when I complete the puzzle. And I complete the puzzle. That was a sick movement, by the way. That Diddy backflip into that little outcome <laughs> was great. Um, yeah, a logic like specialist in the community is LaRock, and he streams often. In fact, he fairly recently streamed what he referred to as the state of the fill, where he talks about all the logical progressions that go into how the items are distributed. And when we say logic, I would define it as two different things. There's the concept of logic, and then there's capital L logic. Capital L logic is the algorithm by which the game makes sure that there is a path from beginning to end that you are able to complete. And as long as you do not disable uh, capital L logic, you are going to have a seed that is beatable. In fact, more specifically, all seeds are designed to be 101% completable. Mm -hmm. So every collectible in the game, everything that can be picked up, every seed, logic is written so that you can, if you really wanted to, get everything in the game. Yeah, it's, 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 it's considering the scope of DK64 randomizer, it's pretty cool that it works. Yeah. I want to add one more thing before we close the discussion on logic if we're heading that way, because this was talked about randomizer in a broader sense. I would say the most likely scenario to meet a soft lock, other than no logic, I'm glad y'all covered that. If you were doing randomizer testing for someone, I did a lot of um, back-end testing on uh, Zelda 1 Randomizer and uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 Randomizer, both done by Fred Coughlin. Thank you, Fred. And there was quite a few instances where I did find soft locks, but that's what testers do, right? We're supposed to find those. So those are pretty fun to do and test live because you never know what you're going to find. 
Yeah, and that's going to be with, like, any of these. Like, again, like we've been saying the whole time, DK64 is a shockingly complex randomizer in terms of, like, oh, you wouldn't think all these moves would be that powerful. They are everything in this game that allow you to get to, you know, 1,400 different checks throughout the course of the seed. So... I remember there were a couple times early on where, you know, we would find a seed. We found one as early as, or, you know, as not long ago as like two weeks ago, where it just expected you had access to enough small bananas to get one of the banana metal checks, and you didn't actually. You were like a single tiny banana short. So it's little quirks. We're finding out that, out that stuff all the time. But again, I, I always want to give a massive shout outs to the rando devs that they make something as bizarre as this look, right? <laughs> like it's, it's so, so cool. work of art. Yes. Yeah, and speaking of devs, uh, Almost Seagull, uh, one of the devs for this is actually in chat right now. And if you do see any kind of soft lock or something funky, haha, -ha, see what I did there happens, uh, please <laughs> be sure to report that to the devs of the given randomizer. It does help them out. I mean, yes, that might be a stream moment or it might be a disappointing moment if you're in a race, but still, those are good to report because you can help out for future randomizers to make sure that doesn't happen, especially during a tournament race. And speaking of which, are there any tournaments currently going on in the DK64.com randomizer community? Um, there is not any tournaments active right now, but in general, we usually like to have what we call blitz tournaments once, once a month. So basically, mm -hmm. it's a tournament that's super compressed. Um, you have one qualifier, best of, um, best of one, and then based on that qualifier, you get seated, and then you have a best of round one every single day until a victor is crowned, and that's done in a week. Um, so we're probably hoping we have one of those again very soon. Then we have our main tournament, which we call our standard season tournament. We usually try to have that at the end of the summer. Um, so we're going to be looking at... We don't have any settings for that yet, but you can kind of race the settings that we did already. Um, the standard season two settings. It's on the live website right now if you want to try it out. And if you actually, would like is... to join it. Yeah, I was going to say, no, go ahead. Yeah, there's actually a, a, another tournament I uh, remember is, is actually going on right now, and that is the Scrubs tournament. There's a beginner's tournament happening, mm -hmm. which I believe you can still enter. Yeah, it's meant for, <laughs> not in a derogatory way in any way, it is uh, meant to be for people like just now getting into it. You don't necessarily want to go up against, you know, people like Tudos and others who have put... <laughs> you know, probably a thousand hours into the randomizer at this point. You want to get in there, just get your feet wet, start learning stuff. Yeah, I think scrub tournaments, they've got them in like Zooter tournaments and others I'm sure Link to the Past and others do it. Uh, those are always really, really good. And yeah, as uh, the person who kind of came up with the concept for the Blitz tournaments and has hosted a number of them, I do plan on hosting another one pretty soon uh, for a different preset, the Kevin settings. We won't, it's neither here nor there what those settings are, but if you want to look into those, get into them. You got another awesome tournament coming up later this month. Yeah, there are people we asking do, about yeah. Archipelago support in the chat. So for those who don't know, Archipelago <laughs> is a really cool thing that you can link randomizers together and have like one big world. So like you can find your friends, um, what do you say, Kokiri Sword in their Ocarina of Time game in your um, DK64 game, maybe Funky Kong is selling it. Um, DK64 is does not have Archipelago support, but we're, we're hoping to add it soon, TM. I have, I say this with my good friend Kuiper, who like, he's been on Random Number Generator a lot showing this game off. I, as soon as that drops, I will play that every day for the next, like, two months. <laughs> like, I can't wait to get the community. Because also, DK64 Randomizer, an amazing community. Super, super, just, like, kind people. It was awesome seeing all of the backroom races that people were doing for it at GDQ that just went by at GDQ. Uh, imagine, you know, hey, let's get 12 of us together and try to get all 12 of us into go mode to beat our different scenes. That sounds like a lot of fun. Or, like Tudos was saying, mix and match games. Like, okay, you got DK64. Let's get some Ocarina of Time in there. Let's get some Minecraft in there. All sorts of different games. Ship, shop, shuffle everything around. It's a lot of fun. Oh, It's definitely on the when, not if list yes. of things. But at, at before we get too excited about it, it's definitely on the 
uh, when side of things. It's still in the very early stages of development alongside the fact that Donkey Kong 64 Randomizer is in development in tangent with it. So there's settings that are going to be added, new logic checks, things that are going to be improved, what? tweaked, and changed. Oh boy. The, I swear, this fairy has been awful lately. There we go. Second <laughs> worst fairy in the game, in my opinion. What, behind the one in the cage in uh, Galleon? Uh, no, the worst one is absolutely the one in Forest Lobby. All right, can I, can uh, I get quiet time, please? Actually, no, never mind. Yes. I forgot I don't have that slam. Oh, yeah. Let's, okay, never quiet mind. time. F's in chat for counting to 16. Rippy. Because I know man. Twitch chat is really good at counting, so, like, it would have been very useful. But I not today. I, I wanted to challenge Tudos right there. I wanted to see if he could do it. You would have whoa! You would have put chat in like um, no chat mode or whatever <laughs> while I count to sixteen. <laughs> it's mean. <laughs> All right, we. So again, the reason why we're in factory right now, we are looking for Chunky Kong. It can splat locks him, so that's what we're looking for right now, and hopefully, it's coming up soon. I'm about to say was I was did you already take out that Kasplat earlier that was in the production room the the red haired one yeah there was two in there and neither of them had what I wanted oh, okay which is very sad um there is a DK bunch yeah I want to get that I'm at thirty five and we actually adjusted the up uh, oh jeez we actually adjusted oh. the medals in these settings um so that you only need forty minutes instead of seventy five to get the check so that's the reason why I wanted that. To follow up on that point, you can in your own race settings you can change and adjust pretty much any value. Yeah. It's a wide variety there. So just because it's set to 40 here in this preset does not mean that the settings by which you play have to ha have 40. It could be more, it could be less, it could be 100 to do a banana metal check. You could have bosses that appear and open up after one banana. So it is, um, it's all about finding what you feel comfortable playing with. Chunky! Chunky! Hey, he's the leader of the bunch. Wait, no, he's not. But no, he no, can no, climb right, up you're trees. Right, you're, no, 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 you're right. Yeah, no, you're right. Nah, that's it. That's it. That's it. My man. All right. Storage and arcade. It's right here. It's key number five. Let's go, baby. That clears that up. All right. So that does solve the key five in the factory and storage area logic. I can't do this check. I keep Gosh, trying to do it. We need a butt slam. We need a blue butt slam. <laughs> Oh, um, that the comment is me. we may, we might not need it, um, yeah. just depending on where stuff is. But it, it'd be helpful to have, yeah. is what you're trying to say. No, Mike, yeah. is that for those of you who haven't demo? played, for those who haven't played in a long slam. time, <laughs> the butt slams are in different colors: green, blue, and red. They're the strengths increasing that way. The switches in levels one through four are green, five through six are blue, and seven is red. And if you have more slams, they work down. So if I have blue slam, I can also hit green switches. If I have red slam, I can hit blue and green switches. These are potions that are mixed into the item pool so they are somewhere is it required who knows that's part of the fun of unraveling this puzzle all right so aisle shops was kinted for keys seven and eight um i got triangle trample there so triangle trample yeah. is gonna get me somewhere that will get me key seven and or eight sorry and eight not and or <laughs> Shipyard outskirts is on the path of key eight. Okay, we did see that chunky vial in the uh, in the five door ship. Yeah, so we're gonna want to head back there at some point. I don't believe we've seen what our hell reward yet is. We're getting there. I hope. <laughs> oh, here we go. Chunky Lobster Diddy. So we definitely need that trombone. Ooh, yeah. Tr Good thing is, though, we already have both guitar. You need the instruments for all of them. So we already have that guitar. We already have that triangle. Castle Battle Arena Greenhouse. Oh, we know that. Um, What was that? I think that was key two. 
That was cute. Uh, I believe that was a key. That was, yeah, that was the the castle surroundings. Yeah, that's an important thing to keep in mind. Like, obviously, when you got when you get hints before it then leads to an item, it's a little easier to keep track of all that stuff. But you have to be able to think back and say, oh, that was on the way of the horde. What did I get there? <laughs> oh. Well, there you we go. We have a lot of... <laughs> okay, there it is. Yeah. We have resources available on our Discord that can set you up with all things that automatically track your moves, as well as basically glorified notepads. You can write everything down to keep an eye on all that stuff. You can find all of that on discord.dk64randomizer.com. And if you want to play this game, check out dk64randomizer.com. Tudos, does doing this check without getting to cheat for it, does it feel bad? Nope. No. You like um, actually giving Strong Kong some, some showcase? Yeah. Like, Strong Kong, like, I'm actually showing that Strong Kong can be useful sometimes. Although, it, it, at the same time, like, you can cheat to get it with Ponytail Twirl, because we have something called Free Trade Agreement, where oh, other yeah. Kongs can pick up each other's gold banana and gold banana checks. The Japes is looking kind of barren from what I've seen. Yeah, we yeah. haven't seen anything really pointing to that. Two potions. Uh, uh, so I did get Strong Kong there. But I don't yes. think I got anything else, question mark. Yeah. So it may not be a useful potion, but I'll remember that for later. Okay, thank you, Wrinkly. Thank you. Heck yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, we'll grab this check, which is another pearl. And we will head back oh. to caves. Or we sorry, five Galleon. Pearls. That's... Oh. Okay, whatever. I don't need it. Man, I want to turn in all five pearls. <laughs> that would be one heck of a seed. All right. Mini Monkey is on the way of the horde. Just like. It's back in here. Um, as far as we know, we cannot get Tiny Kong unless we get Trombone. So we're a little locked from that at the moment. Um, but we do have a lot of checks we can do right now, so I'm not horribly concerned. Um, Galen Caverns is hinted, and I don't... I got Guitar from there, but, like, I also want... Since I'm going to do a Chunky check anyway, then this is on the way, I may as well just do it. Um, <laughs> this is the uh, Punch check. Actually, two punch checks in here. And possibly three if a splat gets randomized into one of these. It doesn't look like that's the case today. Ah. Oh, but we need right. those. And again, 31 GBs. And in reality, you see all those blueprints also sitting there. Are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those as well. So the equivalent of 40 GBs in total. And Sky, you were asking about those dumps. Uh, right now, Lanky looking like he had a big old five pound burrito. So my man's going to be in there all night long. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Spike, are you speaking from experience? Ma, let me tell you. <laughs> you have anything you want to share with the class, my friend? Uh, listen. I just, I'm never uh, going to forget that, that the story of that five pound burrito. Up oh, from GDQ Express. That was pretty five pounds. Like, that's so how do you That's eat a, five pound burrito? Like, I feel like uh, I'd be full like halfway through so, and then some. So wait, wait, I've never heard this story though. So okay, yeah. maybe you should share with the class. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, there, there's literally, I, I don't want to build it up too much. It was just somebody <laughs> at GDQ Express before my tropical freeze run. And keep in mind, this is at like eight in the morning that this run ended up being at. Just bust into the room and was like, hey, Spike Vegeta, do you want a bite of this five pound burrito that I brought? <laughs> and I looked at this thing is an absolute monster. Like, this thing's out there. It, it's it, it's the kaiju. It's taken down Tokyo. There's no way. Um, yeah, no, they, they offered it. And that was all the commentary was for my Tropical Freeze run the rest of that time. If you go watch that run on GDQ's YouTube, that's all we talk about the whole time. Pretty good. The Let's burrito go. or the comms? <laughs> or the... They offer, I just want everyone to know I did not take a bite of the burrito. I was like, oh, I feel okay. like... 
I, I feel like I can't do this to myself. It looked a little too chunky. <laughs> a little too much going on in that. Oh, I you get know, it. I'm playing chunky right now. I get it. I <laughs> get it. I'm sad because we do not have a banana for our runner. I think we've had DK64 random on uh, quite a few times. We've had a banana, I want to say, at least half the time, or people talking about ripeness of bananas, you know. So, uh, fun fact, I didn't actually do this because I was almost late for the GDQ run at AGDQ, <laughs> but I was highly considering <laughs> buying 200 bananas from the store and just bringing them on the couch with me. <laughs> That Maybe would've someday. Taken a while. That would have taken a while to get off the couch. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like everybody in the crowd gets a banana that's not allergic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, they would have checked the perfect run to watch. I think we were raiding fruit maybe the last time I was on your show, Sky. I don't remember. It was at some point. Let's, yeah, let's yeah. raid fruits. Everybody on a scale of one to ten, what would you say a banana is? Like, how much are you like, man, I love bananas. I would love to have one in my face right now. I, I'd say seven. I, yeah, I really like bananas, bananas are a rock a solid seven. I don't know. Is it golden? Oh, uh, pineapple. Okay, that gets you a chunky crit. Yep, so we are going to head over to Chunky Crypt. Well, we're going to grab this easy one right here, but we're going to go to Chunky Crypt in just a moment. We just about of... might need all of Chunky's moves to beat this seat. Because we do know we also potentially need Hunky Chunky in order to do that kaiju check. The five-pound burrito check itself. You know, I'm watching Chad post the numbers rain their bananas. Well, like, this is exactly what Twitch chat looks like when they're trying to count to 10, too. So, yeah, yeah. I don't think they would have helped me anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're going for the big sequence break check. Donkey's showing off. He can fly. Ooh, he believes he can touch the sky. Well, he I didn't believe hard enough. Oh, so I got no, him. Right. Jumped right in there. <laughs> Rip. To follow up on our logic conversation from before, that is roof dirt, which we which yep. was part of a much earlier conversation. Yeah. The move that Chudos did to get up there, where he did some long kicks with Donkey Kong and landed on the side of the mountain itself, that is not considered in logic for normal platforming. That's something that could be considered in logic for what's considered advanced platforming, which is a logic setting that you can find on dk64randomizer.com. For the purposes of this seed, that just means that he went there early. For the purposes of other seeds, if you have advanced platforming enabled, maybe the game will want you to go do that that specific way in order to find an item specifically there. That's one of the many things that you can tweak and enable or disable on dk64randomizer.com. So, um, speaking of uh, dumping blueprints and burritos and such earlier, uh, are we hey, going to be ready to take a break soon? We're about at a buck 18, just about. Yeah, I think after this check here, this is going to be... After this check, we can do one. Okay. And right. it is... What's not Trump? Where's Trump? Are you kidding? There's no I way! I beg of you. I beg of you. All right, well, this is way of the horde. <laughs> I'm going to go ponder my life in That's general unreal. while we take a break. <laughs> that was 100% going to be a trombone. Are you? Oh, no. <laughs> and yet. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we are going to stop here. I do have a couple announcements on behalf of Game Strength Quick before we take our wellness break. So again, we have Unapologetically Black and Fast will be live on February 16th to the 19th. Come celebrate by watching a four-day event full of speedruns and black joy. Use exclamation point U-B-A-F in Twitch chat for more info. And your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits shared on the GDQ Twitch channel help support Games Done Quick Hotfix. If you enjoy watching speedruns or randomizers in this case, consider subscribing to the channel. So everyone, be sure to hydrate, stretch, and be right back with two and random number generation. Morning.
Welcome back to Random Number Generation. I am here with Tudos, and this is Donkey Kong 64 Randomizer.com in parentheses. So, again, <laughs> we were just taking a wellness break here, and I am ready to get this seed back rolling. How about you, Tudos? I'm ready to find out what the heck this game wants me to do to I... get Tiny Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right. Um, three, two, one, go. All right. <laughs> All right, we're probably just gonna do one more additional check since I'm in the crypt area. Um, I did get a chimpy charge, and we did get it off Galleon's Diddy Metal, which was hinted way of the horde. So okay. I think it's very worth it to come down here and check this check out. Yeah, chimpy charge is another one that doesn't unlock that many checks. Uh, I don't believe we did the R&D check earlier. No. Uh, we did not do pin code. Yeah, so there is R&D. There's the the lobby, which is technically supposed to be done with Tiny, but we can circumvent that. Of uh, the Aztec lobby. There's the gongs. Oh, could it? Oh, could it be? we have... An important question, by the way, Tudos. This is from the sound defense. We were talking about sound defense earlier. Hey, a uh, question for Tudos. When is he doing that random setting seed? Wait, what random setting seed? I'm scared. <laughs> Apparently, sound defense has a uh, IOU on whatever <laughs> stunt you may or may not have pulled on him over GDQ. Oh, you mean the one where he said, I'm going to donate every time someone says, oh, banana. So he just kept saying, oh, banana over and over until he had to donate everything. <laughs> It sounds like it was the thing where you said, oh, banana a bunch because he was donating every time someone said, oh, banana. Oh, oh like, so like, oh, banana, except you have to donate every time someone says, oh, banana. So for instance, if someone says, oh, banana, oh, banana, oh, banana, like three times, they have to donate that many, that much amount of money. So it's three. So in that case, it'd be, oh, banana, oh, banana, oh, banana dollars. Oh, but exactly. man. Yeah. Yeah, and especially because you have now decided to continue the O Banana donation trend on Sound Defense's <laughs> behalf, making them donate a dollar every time we say O Banana again. So thanks, Sound Defense, for donating one dollar every single time that we say O Banana on the stream. Thanks, Sound Defense. Uh, that potion was an instrument upgrade, so I'm, now I'm sad again. Yep, that was a... A bait item, unfortunately. Not many potions are bait items straight up. Like, they're not actual progression. The instrument the instrument upgrades are about the only ones. From there, there's the third melon for your to increase your health capacity. Uh, there's another ammo belt. But, yeah, most things are good to find. So, for those... Uh, to explain why we have instrument upgrade and the... <gasps> Third melon there. Oh, boy. While we have the, the melon upgrade, the ammo belt, and the instrument upgrades in the item pool there, throughout the game in vanilla, as you progress through the levels, once you hit a certain level, you can buy uh, an extended pool for your instrument charges and an extended ammo belt throughout the game. Those are considered potions for all intents and purposes, so they've been mixed in. And the reason that... Something to bring up about that is that you can kind of collect them in any order. They are just upgrades. They are blank upgrades, as it were. So it's an instrument upgrade. There would be three totally distributed, and you can collect any of them, and they will be progressive. So it would be instrument upgrade one, third melon, instrument upgrade two. Very similar with slams, where it says progressive slam, progressive slam is the items themselves. You can collect either, and it just increases your slam level by one level. It's kind of hard to explain, and I probably butchered that a bit, but <laughs> no, that the idea. Right. Yeah, 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 I agree. It, it, it just kind of like it makes sense when you're playing it. You can get 
one of three things, and every time you get it, you upgrade your amount this way. Yeah. An easier way to think about it, a lot of times I do describe it in like Zelda item turn terms. So if you're playing Link to the Past randomizer, there's the four different levels of your sword that you get in there. Whatever yes. the first sword you find is, that will be your like your fighter sword. Whenever you find a second one, whichever one that is of the other three, then you upgrade to the master sword, to the tempered sword, and then the butter sword, as we call it once you find all four of them. So it's the same with like the slam upgrades in this where you start off, you can hit the green switches, you find whichever of the other two, you can hit the blue switches and then the red switches. That's a much, much cleaner and much more approachable way of describing it than the word salad that I use. So thank you, Spike. Is yeah, there salad it's in 64 There's a bunch of vegetables. This is true. There's so much vegetable. <laughs> Um, here's another, this, this yeah. is not a check that a lot of people think of because it takes a lot to get to it, but like this is another Chimpy Charge lock check and remember, we yep. saw it, this is a DK potion. There is a one in four chance this is the coconut gun. Let's take another prediction between all of us in the call. What do we think this is? I'm going to go I with is, it's the gun. I'm saying baboon blast. Ooh. I'm saying, I'm thinking, I'm actually going to go with Gorilla Grab. Sky, of those three things or the or the bongos, what do you want it to be? Mm. Yeah, say that again, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Co Coconut Gun, Bongo Blast, Gorilla Grab, or Baboon Blast? I'm going to say Coconut Gun. All right. They do say it fires and spurts. When he shoots right, you, what do we got? it's going to hurt. Oh, I'm right. Oh, Tudo's got it. We're blasting. Right. Oh, man. Absolutely a monkey's paw right there, closing a finger, because now every single Baboon Blast check is Yep, so now we get to go revisit all the other levels and do Baboon Blast. Oh. Yes, oh. Including this one. Yep. Uh -huh. All right, what do we got here? The worst one in here. Nope. Nope. What? Is, is the fairy randomized, though? The fairy is randomized, so it is technically still worth it to do it. Oh, shoot. That's right. I forgot about the fairy. Well, I have to go back. <laughs> now, this is where you hope that it was that it was nothing, and then I just let, let it back to do absolutely nothing. Because sometimes That's that will actually value. happen where you, you'll be in like a competitive randomizer environment, and you just forget <laughs> about something, and it wins yeah. you the race because you just forget to do it, and it was... <laughs> It was just a bag of trash. There were absolutely um, seeds where I've been racing people and you either just remembered to do a specific check or you didn't. Yeah. And you won if you remembered it and you did not win if you didn't. What? what? Kudos. I can't do it as good as Spike. <laughs> what? Um, there we kudos. go. Thank you. <laughs> Have you uh have you ever had to do this room in the dark? Um I have not, but I know people who have. What it was just the G8. Yes, got it! Okay. Let's go, baby! We're but yeah, you can do you can do this room in the dark if you use the ammo to shoot the walls. There's a like a one millisecond, one frame, like bright flash on the screen, and you can see where you're going in that instant. Unreal. I was wondering what the tech was, because you can go in there, as you saw from Tudos. If you don't have a guitar, you can't spawn in squawks that gives you the light, but you can just go into first person and just see what that is. So if you ever, like, oh, okay, I need that item potentially, but I don't have guitar. What do you do? I've never been in a situation where I've had to try that. All right. The visual, the visual effect there of that fairy and the bats flying around the screen in circles, that was really, really chaotic. That's just a glitch. Like, they're, even with all of the work that is done on this game by the developers to patch out and correct and or otherwise codify a lot of the other things in there, sometimes just glitches happen. Yup. All right. So we are going to go back to Galleon, and here's why. Um, Baboon Blast opens two <laughs> checks in Galleon. <laughs> and, this um, is good. 
Basically, yeah, this, this is a good one to do because basically there is, we got an outskirts hint earlier and the two checks are unlocked are on galleon outskirts. So now we're going to be able to see if this gets us something good. I, and I really hope that it's going to be what we're missing here, which is trombone. Oh yeah, because that five door ship, that is not part of galleon outskirts. That's right. My, my brain was like, oh, we already found something there, but no, no, no. All right, so Baboon Blast number two. Can you get the mash at the beginning? Oh. Blasting it. And by the way, the absolute last check I'm doing is going to be that stupid owl in forest. It, I, that's going to be the last thing I do. And if something happens to be there, so be it. I hate that owl so much. Yeah, that owl's an idiot. But you do have all the things you need to t you need to talk to him. It's, it's uh, true. that one hints you, doesn't it? Yes, it does in fact hint. Yeah. But but still, yeah, for the principle. For out of principle, I am not doing it. <laughs> yeah, these are the two quick checks that you were talking about. Doing the baboon blast in on the Oh, there it is! Are you kidding? That has to be it. That literally can't instrument up here. Six. Oh, Thank there it is. God. Well, back to forest, lol. Well. All right. Is it still your last check that you're gonna look at? Because now you're walking by. <laughs> Oh Absolutely. My God. Now the thing is, you just kind of have to do every single B blast check in the game because one of them was live. So now, technically speaking, all of them are live. Yep, it's true. <laughs> and still, why does one need baboon baloo? Yep, that so is a question that has not been answered yet. Go ahead, Sky. I have a question for all y'all. I want to know what is the most stream content thing that can happen right now, given the context of the seed. Uh, he's about to race a rabbit. Well, I haven't found coconut gun yet, so if like something involves the bean, I need coconut gun to get to the bean check. That's pretty stream value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bean check is definitely value. I have a sequence of unfortunate circumstances that could occur in order to give us a significant amount of value. But I think that Bean would be 100% be the most stream value right now. So the rabbit will tell you what he has, but I'm so confident this is tiny. I didn't even read it. So we're going to see. By process, if we've done almost every other I'm trying, like, is there? Oh, my God. Oh, if it's not this, that's truly cursed. If it's not this, <laughs> that is truly cursed. I think I know what you're thinking of, and that's hysterical. Yeah. We would then need the coconut gun. There she oh. is! Yay! With that we beautiful We got her! Gun. My God. We finally have Vin Diesel percent. Family is everything. Yep. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Now where do I go? So now I need to go back to my hints and kind of see what I need to do I'll do now. Um actually maybe I should have stayed in there, question mark. Primate punch. I guess we go to caves. Yeah. We got a decent amount of places we could go, actually. Now the seed is pretty open. Yeah. Actually, I know where I want to go. Our way over to Galleon. Okay. So that's a fair check right there. This is a oft forgotten mini monkey check. Yeah, I actually want to go back into Galleon because there is. What, what, what do we call it? The hype chest? Yes, hype it, chest. it is a very it is a very hype chest because in DK64 randomizer the pearls are randomized. So when you go into the chest, there are five items. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, you got those five. You also got a baboon balloon check right next to it. There's a lot of value over there. 
I do think this is the single Oops. best concentrated area that you could have made a play for. It. But also, I guess, peak this little side room finally with Featherbow. This well, does also interestingly bring Baboon Balloon back into logic because Lanky Gold Tower is right there, and that does logically require Baboon Balloon. So this room, I don't actually have barrel throw yet, believe it or not, but we're going to see if I can splats in here at least. Doesn't look like it. What is my... Uh... Okay, it looks like people still need medals here. Definitely. So I will get this balloon. Something I want to bring up now that we have a great moment to look at it, talking about medals, the UI in the top right corner you see on um, with the D-pad what your next Kong is if you press the D-pad in either direction. If you press D-pad down, you'll be able to swap the ammos that you have if you have homing ammo in addition to regular ammo. And if you press up, you'll be able to see the total number of colored bananas that you have in this level. Something to note, if you look right now with Donkey Kong, that metal is, gr is translucent, or tr I'm sorry, transparent. That means that he does not have the banana metal check for this Kong yet. Whereas with Lanky, I believe he does. So when he swaps over to that Kong, we will see it filled in for a good visual indicator of what is and isn't there. Yeah, so okay, maybe it's Diddy. It's Diddy. Or so yeah, Diddy's very clear and Lanky. See, there you go. Unfortunately not. Super minor. One of the many. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say, it's one of the many things that the devs who spent, you know, hundreds of thousands of hours in this game playing it listening to community feedback a great way for uh a, a great ui improvement that really increases the experience of okay do i still need to get medals with this kong in this level you can very quickly tag through and go oh i just i should probably hunt after x type of uh banana medals or uh, colored bananas you can right, see how much just thing, having dog. the tag anywhere can just kind of enhance your movement throughout it. There's a lot of nifty little spots where you can do like a backflip with Diddy to gain a bunch of height and then swap to someone like Chunky who then goes into a more neutral Oops. state and can like grab a ledge and whatnot out of it. It's very, very cool tech. Hey, there's a coin up there. I'm just going to grab that. Yeah, not a bad Correct, idea. Correct, Elrock. We've put billions of hours into DK64. <laughs> All right, hype chest. Here we go. Are we going to find something good? Five checks in here. Nothing else could just be five GBs, but we'd like something a little saucier than that. Sauce number one is... <laughs> it's a vanilla pearl. A vanilla? I'm are you cool. kidding? We have seen... You got to get it. I, I I had to get that, and then That's, oh here we go. Here's the golden banana. You realize there are like 14. There's so many checks in this game. That's actually out of this world, chat. That that was just a vanilla pearl. Dudos <laughs> almost has all five pearls, or has at least seen all of them. He's seen four. And there is a chunk. Oh, that chunky potion. That could be um, the triangle for uh, the toy monster check. That would resolve Mini Monkey if this was here. Yep, 50 50 shocks. There also is Gorilla Gone. May need Gorilla Gone, anyways, but we know we need Hunky Chunky. Chunky of the Hunkies. Mini Monkey was on the way of the horde because you had to get. Hey! Hunky Chunky! It's Chunky. So hype just paid Chunky. out in spurts. Hello. All right. It is time. Hey, Adam, it's Dylan. Dylan. To go to factory. Another one of the most hype checks in all of Donkey Kong 64 randomizer. It's, this is where you realize, Nothing. this is honestly the perfect Nothing. kind of check that all showcases I have been told how it's an issue powerful with compliance. the various items and moves you find in the game are. Is that, okay, they put mm. a, a gate. Me that, either. You know, I, I, we'll wait I, till we get I up there. Promise you, I, I, it, I've it, been, it's, I've it, spoken it's to Evelyn twice and she's. Like you walk up here and there's, uh, there's a gate that you need to have Prime A punch for. But right behind that, they didn't lock it enough. So now you need to play triangle in order to actually open it up. But once you get in here, that's still not enough. So you gotta punch another thing. And then you gotta use Unky Chunky to grow large enough to fight off the Kaiju right here. So yeah, triple Chunky move locked check right here.
All right, the most epic battle in uh, AGDQ history right here. <laughs> I don't know if this has ever been done on GDQ before. Honestly, Maybe it has for a different not. rando, but. <laughs> this is a seldom done check because of its triple locked nature, like I was talking about. Hunky Chunky really doesn't lock that many checks. Kind of similar with triangle. Punch locks half the checks in the game. So really the best way to kill is he has a lot of cooldown every time you hit him. So really the best way to kill him is just kind of do this like little uh, running B attack into him until he dies. I I'm going to throw out this prediction. This is homing. Oh my god. If this is okay, it's key seven. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Alright. Alright. So I'm gonna pause for a second here because I just want to kind of go over kind of what we need to beat the game. Um the pause menu is very modified, it includes some like includes all the hints you read, um, all the places where you got your items, things like that. But this is the screen that we want. And this is key because we need to think back to what we got as far as items go. So 70 gold bananas again to helm. We don't have that yet. We are 39 right now. Um, we need four crowns. We're only at two, so we need two more. We're at 13 banana medals, so we need two more banana medals. Um, and right now it is a chunky, lanky ditty helm, but we have all of those instruments. So we are actually good to go in regards to um, moves that we need. Now we just need to get 31 more bananas as well as two more crowns and two more medals. So really from here is just we just got to push to the end of the game. Yeah, I guess the only other moves you potentially get, and I wasn't even thinking about that based on this, this setting, Babu Balloon might be your monkey port item to get up to Helm, correct? Yeah, that's actually I should probably check that um, because remember it is switch sanity. So like I was thinking about like, oh, I... I am done with Helm, but like you still need to get to Helm, right? So, um, I'm going to need to check what is on the monkey port pad. But yeah, certainly we might be in just kind of a state where we're at this point, like potentially the biggest locking thing is where are two of the remaining eight battle crowns in the game? Banana medals are almost there. DBs a lot of times because your two dose is late in the seed, he's pretty rich as far as coins are concerned. You can potentially just rush a lot of shops <gasps> and just buy. I'm so lot. glad I did that. Hey, that's all right. Now you need we'll one take of it. the remaining seven. Okay. Uh, I can't do that check, but I can do this one. Hey, we blast. So because of Switch Sandy and kind of the hints I've got, I'm betting that the path to hell will in fact be Baboon Balloon. Yeah, that's... I was sitting there thinking through, because there's only a couple of balloon locked checks in the game. The fact that, yeah, it could have been Baboon Blast, Baboon Balloon, or Monkey Port. Yeah, it's probably the balloon. But we'll see. Get a confirmation. Yeah, let's head over there right now. And if it's not, then it could be one of the other things that we have. Oh, it is! Oh, I'm going to ride it. And then, yeah, and then what do we Yoink. need to get into help? Oh my gosh, I can't believe y'all made this. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, while we're up here, two jacks. Yep. Probably my favorite uh, tweak that we've done in the game is that. That's so funny. I love just like giving more value to these moves. Hey, extra. Help. If that was barrel throw, I would have. Oh, I don't even know what I would have done. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? here? Okay, so we need trombone right. to get in. So we are good with moves, we just need to collect stuff. Remember, with free trade agreement on, Tiny can collect chunkies or anyone's, I guess, so to say, blueprints. Yeah, 
chance. So we got to count to 74 and 15. That's 70 space, four and 15. Need a little less than 20 more bananas. Because again, all those blueprints, those are at any point. Kudos can dump all of those to get, you know, 270 whenever he's kind of in go mode in that regard. Needs one more battle crown and two more banana medals. Oh hey, my dude, dude just oh. immediately right there. What's up? What's up, baby? Yeah, Jace yeah, is honestly me. usually a really good play to go for late game, just because this is the first level in the game, canonically. It's not, it's, yeah, a, so it's you, by far the smallest level. Yeah, so and you get all this stuff pretty easily. Not too much is locked here, so hoping this isn't too bad, as I probably just jinxed myself. Uh -huh. Honestly, by far the biggest thing is like, those seven battle crowns could hide a little bit. All right, let's just get that. Let's also get that one. I still want to see a fully routed out 101% tag anywhere. I know you've done a couple two dos. Yeah, but like it wasn't like super routed nicely yeah, though. Like exactly. I'm sure someone could like deep dive it, I'm sure. Yeah, the routing potential for a 101% tag anywhere with the vanilla game, I think would actually be very chill. Ah. ah well there's sacks or monkey port if we did need those, who know where they are. Locked by coconut gun. Definitely doesn't hurt to grab that, so I'm probably going to do that at some point. Please uh, don't. Since we got a. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> no, I was going to say, since it sounds like we got a minute or two of downtime, or at least slower time right now, uh, can I take a minute to talk about the, uh, the music? Of course. Uh, yes. So. The, in the community, the there are a lot of people who have been really inspired, especially by uh, Ocarina of Time Randomizer, to bring in music from other games and transpose it into Donkey Kong 64 sound font. It's not as easy as it would sound. It's pretty... Um, arduous is definitely the word that Genius. I would use. There's a, yeah, <laughs> it's... Yeah. There's a lot that goes into it. I've done some songs myself. Uh, you, I think you've heard a couple of them on the stream so far, but we have a huge library of them. We have just under a thousand at this point, I think. We are uh, the community a thousand. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're getting close there There's between so the, cus the custom notification sounds, the custom, like, you know, uh, picking up different items gives you different uh, pings or something like that. All the music's great. There's a bunch of people. It's a very active community. You can find out all, more about it on the Discord, discord.dk64randomizer.com. I absolutely recommend uh, if anyone wants to learn about how we do what we do, as well as wants to contribute something, or even just has any questions about it in general, please go on head over to discord.dk64randomizer.com and find us inside the music dash discussion channel myself or others will be happy to answer your questions yeah it's great because the, like the the hair wrap is like spliced up so people have been like <laughs> like in you can make them play you probably heard some of the tracks like you can just put like random parts of the dk rap throughout the track it's great we there was a challenge and i'm i don't want to misattribute who it was but Hyper messaged someone and basically just said, I want to hear Pumpkin Hill rap from Sonic Adventure 2 on or inside Donkey Kong 64. And this person spent weeks figuring out exactly how to... It's weird how it works. So very briefly, the way that the, the, the words are broken down inside the sound font is that if you press a key, it says one line, and then if you press a second key, it says a different line, and if you press a third key, it says a third line. So basically, they had to mix 
a bunch of different keys getting pressed simultaneously, flickering their volume on and off very quickly so that if you got the word, let's say coconut, and you just wanted the second co sound, you would have mute for first, then unmute for co, and then mute for nut. It's insane. It is ridiculous. It is so... It is not fun to do in the slightest, but it is... It is incredible. The uh, yeah. As a person who doesn't have to work for it at all, I just get to celebrate the fruits of the labor of the people who did make it happen. It's amazing. It's uh, I was sitting there at some point on stream like two weeks ago. I was just, I was Chunky Kong in his disco outfit that you can play as cosmetic wise in the game uh, while listening to Phoenix Wright's cornered track while punching <laughs> fireballs on a battle arena. I was like, man, randomizers are so cool. This is great. <laughs> this is all happening. Uh, the, the person who did that was Wibdewo, and shout out to them. They are one of the most prolific and talented music transposers in our little community or our little corner of the Discord. And we're very lucky to have them that we can lean on and ask questions and learn alongside them. Absolutely. I swear I saw a tiny balloon. I guess it's gone now. Oh. Well. <laughs> The custom balloon pass, some of them are just like absolutely killer. Like they will like fly across a level and you have no idea where the balloon went. Oh, there it was. All right. Well, I'm just not going to bother with that, I guess. All right, we're getting pretty close here. Like there's going to be a point where I can just do like the dump. Yeah. TM. The yeah. dump. Right now, if you find no other blueprints, you're looking to get to 59 GBs, assuming that's auto-tracking, assuming that's accurate. So yeah, you, you got 11 yeah. blueprints on you. Well, one more crown and we're we're just in a, basically attack mode here, so. Metals, that is the vanilla standard for getting access to the rarer coins, but we just made it so that those 50 metals just give you access to open the door. So not too bad there. Um, but yeah, we just need one more crown and 17 more golden bananas. So we're getting close. It should be enough to get Diddy to his banana metal check there's uh hey we can get this the standard way oops a ring stand definitely one of the weaker moves that you can find in dk64 randomizer but it's got its little moments i just skipped over one banana and it was the banana that counted or the banana that mattered oh man we are four gbs and one battle crown away. You would love to see a battle crown pop up on that. Oh my goodness. Nope. Are, are we gonna be looking for one of these seven battle crowns for go mode? There are there are a lot of shops we can still check, so not too concerned. Yeah. One I think they look level well, we haven't gone into caves or Aztec at all. Yep. So we can check three shops in caves, three shops in Aztec. I think we'll be okay. And in but yet, randomizer could absolutely randomizer, and we'll just never find it until the last seven checks. We'll see. Out of curiosity on these settings, all, and all settings kind of have their own general flow to them. Like, oh, you're always looking for this at the end of the seed, or you know, whatever, whatever little idiosyncrasies they are. Do you find there's something in particular? Like, are you generally like this, where you're just trying to get? the collectibles at the end and it's not really a move lock thing or is it pretty varied that you found i mean it's definitely varied like uh, the last seed i did um i had four crowns so fast it was actually yesterday's uh, end sack race that i participated in i found the key or i found four crowns in like i want to say less than 30 minutes wow so it, it just really depends on what the seed feels like throwing at you that day 
only needing one more GB. After that, any others that just fall on Tudos' face? There's 15. Right. Don't need any more of those. Oh, don't need any more of those. We don't need those games. Any more that falls on his face is just a few less times he'll have to take a dump with the other Kongs. It's time to go to Aztec. Aztec play, baby. I have no particular reason for picking Aztec over Caves. I just kind of picked it, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, everyone's got their own biases and whatnot. I actually, I like Caves. I was a big in like 1.0 days before a lot of their stuff was shoveled. I was like, man, Caves is so small. I love Caves. I mean, the game might decide for me if it's just like, oh, you need bongos to get back here. Yeah. Um, come again later, and then I can just go to Caves. Uh, this is true. Yeah, this could not. I'm, I'm thinking too much like it's a normal randomized suit. I haven't played with these, the Switch Sanity and everything. But that's right, we do get one shop right here. We need a battle crown, gamers. There's seven of them. <laughs> None of them there. You might say, well, why don't you just pick up the GB? Because you're, you're going to have yeah, no at, shortage at the, of those. Yeah, at this point, I have enough where I just don't need to buy them anymore. Oh, I mean, hey, what's honestly up, probably questionable that I even bought the ones in the Jape shop. Because, like, here, look at all these gold bananas I'm getting here. Yeah. So... Yeah. So now he just doesn't need to dump the tiny blueprint. The more you go, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully we're not to the point where nobody's dumping. Let's hit this. And yeah, this is absolutely the play where you're just rushing shops. Because you can just peek up to three different items just instantly. There are literally seven of these still in the game. You need anyone for the victory. None of those. But yeah, what is that nitty move? Gorilla grab. I see. That's interesting. <clears throat> oh, oh, boy. Yo, DK Arcade well, for the crown. It's not, <laughs> but <laughs> it could be, but it's not. But what if? Oh, what if? What if there is a... What if Coconut Gun is on the DK Arcade and that is locking all seven of the remaining oh. battlegrounds. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be clear for everyone here, the DK Arcade is not part of the N7. Oh, they're not. Not part <laughs> no. yet. I was, yeah, like, I was about to oh, say man. no but. <laughs> right. that, that's, a, that's a big old no but on that one, Chief. This hunk of, Nope. All right. It's going to be on Tiny Beetle Racing. Which I'm sure uh, you're I don't have a sack, so I can't do that, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would. For oh, the fans. That's true. All right, that's going to be Coconut Gun, and that Coconut Gun will lock all set. This is a nifty little trick that anybody at home can do. Be right there. Oh, the there we go! Charge off the gong. Let's go, Let's go, baby! Go! Screw that commentary I was going to give. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just dump with everyone but Tiny. Let's go. All right. right. Who is ready for the dumping? Let's go. Is this the part where we yes. say, oh, banana for each yes. Yes. blueprint? Every single yes. one of them. Dump, 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 dump. You can only imagine chat. with the desync, it just becomes a nightmare to hear that. Oh, oh banana. banana. <laughs> dump, 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 okay. Oh, here comes another one. A little two-piece combo. Blanky got the... Going in. Come on. Blanky got the large meal. He biggie-sized. <laughs> oh, banana. Oh, banana. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking up the copy pasta, Tudus. Yeah, no problem. Oh, banana. banana. Oh, banana. Oh, we're going the single. We're going to 71. Oh, this this was calculated, though. Nice. <laughs> nice. Guys, I don't get it. Dude, only for that banana, instead of saying, oh, banana, it should just go, 
No. <laughs> all right. 4.0. That's the second. That's literally all it does. Wait, wait, wait. Is there a spot in the DK rap where it just says nice? Or right. like it, maybe it's something that sounds like nice. I'm sure we can make that happen. We do have top monkey scientists we can consult. All right. So I'm not sure if we have this in NSAC, but we have training moves in the uh, randomizer pool. And I don't have barrel throw, so that becomes kind of a problem. Yeah, of all the things we don't have, that's the only, like, real problem that can be led to. You have almost every other move. He, what we're talking about is Tudos has to be able to defeat six mini games here. Has no idea what they are. They're completely randomized. Uh, they could be super, super simple, generic. Anybody with nothing could do it. Uh, but you might need certain things. He can circumvent not having stuff like coconut gun and whatnot, but barrel throwing would be the one. If there's something where he's got to pick something up. So the training mini games are inside the pool of items that we could, of uh, mini games we could have. So it is entirely possible. Hey, what do we got here? Welcome so to bonus. Six oh, mini games. <laughs> this All is the right. Spike Vegeta special right here. Let's go, my boy, Stealthy Suit. Which one is? Is it the seventy? No, it's the sixty. Just Every time I would watch. Every time I watch Spike Vegeta play this, his helm is always just full of the maze mini games, and I just ah. see him losing his mind every time. <laughs> These, is it any of them? Get in their little flashlight. They kick you back to the start, and it's rage inducing every time. Oh, and by the way, you have a timer on screen, too, so you're up against, like, it's another one! <laughs> wow, oh, baby! Oh, give us the one, give us the 33. Nah, no, it, it, this, is the same, this is the same map we just did, except with Snatch Snatch. <laughs> yeah, I believe there are only three maze maps, so you get to the point where, like, you can kind of memorize all of them. I don't have any of them memorized, and I've done, like, 200 scenes. Uh, do these settings have be have a uh, beaver bother in them? Gee, I, I wish. No, that is that is that is a point of contention that will be brought up for the S three uh, preset discussion, which is not happening right now. And if you are curious when that will happen, you can find you can join us on Discord.dk64randomizer.com to get an idea of when that conversation will happen. It's uh, obviously, like, out of everything that is infamous about Donkey Kong 64, probably nothing is more infamous than the minigame beaver bother, where you have you are a little clap trap, and you have to scare all the little beavers into the little hole in the center of the barrel. Uh, <laughs> that uh, that has frustrated a lot of players to no end. A lot of people never got those GBs. Um, we, we actually buffed beaver bother as a player yes. because we put gold beavers randomly in the game that count for two instead of one so we did make it are you serious there's <laughs> no way dude and we've this seen is the every same map except mad maze ball <laughs> <laughs> yo i do want to say what though mad maze ball, you're not listening to it right now but mad maze ball is an absolute banger of a track it's so good i don't know i feel like we got an equally as banger track for mad maze ball Which, i can't hear it what do you what is it it's the uh, superstar saga boss theme oh that was so good i any final boss from the like Mario and Luigi games, I always listen to the one at the end of Bowser's Inside Story. Unreal. Yo, Beautiful. shout out to Yoko Shimamura, the GOAT video game soundtrack composer, in my opinion. Made SMRPG. Oh my god! It's this cool. is the Spike Vegeta. <laughs> this is the same. <laughs> <laughs> we have done the exact same thing for <laughs> Can't keep getting away with it. This is actually unreal. <laughs> I've never seen this before. I have. I unironically <laughs> have. <laughs> I, there this was one there I did them. where it was unironically five out of six was amazing. 
But this is even nuttier because, like, this has been the exact same maze four times. <laughs> I, I got the cutscene skip somehow. Yo, nice. If you, if you play your instrument on the same, or I guess there's a two frame window, I suppose. Uh -huh. um, when the cutscene starts, you can just skip it. It's great. It's great. We love it. I All right. And Giddy going up. These are our last two chances. We are in go mode if neither of these mini games ask for you to have barrel throwing. Every other move that we don't have should not matter. I mean, oh, here, here we go. It's the Kuiper special. Okay. I was about to say, Kuiper loves this one. There's also the non-zero chance of a oranges mini game coming up because we are right at the end, and there the orange training barrel mini game is a two percent chance. Oh, got the easy big button. I, for, I forgot about the oranges. That's a good call. We'll see if I am absolutely owned here. Nope, it's Randy. Oh, I was hoping for value. There was a, a question earlier before Sky uh, Bills about some DK64 randomizer lore. We refer to having Helm games, either Helm games that require specific moves or like the training mini games, to um, being in the Helm barrels right at the end as being a 2% chance. There was a conversation very early on about the odds of something appearing inside Helm of whether you like mini game specific moves appearing inside the helm barrels and the what came out was two percent and it just kind of became a running joke yeah. from there that am i gonna get two percent in? It, it's not actually two percent but we we still use say it's two percent anyway <laughs> it's so convenient um i'm really quickly just checking the checks in here because i want to see if i would get a crown if i just gambled on it oh that's true since we have the yolo crown is good I would have gotten a medal if I stayed in here. Oh, no, not, a, okay. not a crown, though. All right, let's go ahead and finish up this bad boy. Okay. Yeah, the finale of the seed is coming Oops. up right here. As soon as we touch E8, that will be time. Uh, one last note for the logic for NSAC. The logic in DK64Randomizer.com was recently rewritten so that the two fairies at the back of Helm will not have items that are going to be on your Helm doors. Oh, that's yeah, good. This was after, I cannot tell you how many times we had NSAC seeds with a crown fairy <laughs> hiding behind that door. There are two fairies this time, and that's time. All right, GG. Yo, GG. <laughs> GG. That we'll was- finish a minute and a half under estimate. Let's go. Let's or go, did I say 2.30? I finished on wrestling. That's all that matters. Oh Let's my go. god, look at the fairies! It got the mermaid! Hey, yo! Hey! Flipping in a flopping. One of the visual settings that you can change in DK64 Randomizer is model swaps. And that's one of the things that you can do is you can model swap the fairy inside this cutscene as well as the mini game where the fairies are flying across the uh, chomps or the uh, clap traps. That's awesome. I love all the cosmetic stuff because, like, for all the, like, little things that we do in randomizers, like, all the items moved around and everything, by far the number one thing, people come in and be like, why is Donkey Kong pink? Like, <laughs> that is the thing that sticks with people when they first come into a randomizer stream. It's great. I love it. <laughs> cosmetics, really, the cosmetics and the... Uh random sound effects really makes a randomizer a randomizer in my opinion yeah. like obviously you gotta have the core gameplay but like that polish puts it over the top mm -hmm. it's the garnish of course well heck yeah nice run gamer yeah i think we'll um end it here unless we need to uh burn a little bit more time um how are we looking Hey, yeah. Based on uh, what we've heard here, I think we we got the green light to burn some time. So um, let's go ahead, let the credits play out a bit, and then we'll. Um, well I guess we'll see what's in caves. I'm still yeah. confused on where barrel throw was, but I guess hey. Yeah, can we? It. Yeah, can we find barrel throwing? And if we find to go saxophone. Back, 
You got to go yep. do beetle racing. But no, go ahead. Yeah. To go back to our conversation much earlier about the difference between simple or complex level order and non-complex or simple level order, we know that barrels has to be somewhere before we enter level four, and it can only be behind items that we could unlock before level four. So anything that was inside forest, castle, or galleon could be used to get barrel throwing, or it couldn't be. We don't know, but we know where it could be in terms of like the parameters of the game. Complex level order, we would have no clue whatsoever. Did I ever answer sound defense's question? I don't even know what he was referring to. <laughs> like I said, he, I guess like he wants me to do a random seed. Hey, Someone. Spike Vegeta and Kuiper, yeah. Yeah, I've been playing DK64 Randomizer at dk64randomizer.com. Definitely the best part about the credits. Genuinely, I, Sky has been nice enough to have me on her show many times over the years, playing games like Ocarina of Time, Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, Twilight Princess, Majora's Mask, here with DK64. And I, if, I'm if i definitely a rando head. And DK64 Randomizer is genuinely one of the best randomizers out there. All the different customizations you can do with it. It's got a lot of super fun personality. I think this game just becomes more and more fun the more randomizers you play. There's so many cool settings out there. There's so many things you can adjust about them. And it's genuinely very, very fun to learn just how to logic your way through a scene and feel like I routed that well. Because it's more complicated than you would think. Yeah, there's just the sheer amount of stuff is like it's just it takes an unbelievable amount to make it possible. Chat wants to know where the bean was. We're where gonna see bean? if we can find it. Yo, yeah, that's the hunt. The hunt for the bean. So I'm so like I could try barrel throw, but I think the bean would be more fun. And I'm thinking since I didn't go to caves, I feel like that would be the most likely place. So let's just go to caves. Let's go to caves. Yeah, let's, baby. let's do a little exploring. Why not? All right. So also caves too. is love. For those whose first exposure to a randomizer, especially dk 64 randomizercom this may be, it's not always that you get levels that are totally and completely dead, for lack of a better phrase. <clears throat> Every once in a while it happens that the way that just the randomizer falls, you will have a level that has nothing that is necessary to go to the end. But not often. Yeah, this seed kind of ended up having both Aztec and Cave. You technically never had to go to them. Did we ever have to go to Japes? Wow. No. There, there were I only went to it for stuff. Did. Yeah, there were three levels that you basically didn't need to touch. Oh my, how many the splats are right at the start of the levels in the scene? Unironically, like the hardest place for it to be. Oh, there's bongos, okay. Oh, okay. Jeez. I did want to I would say, like well, to do a random setting seed sound defense, I will say. Go ahead. <laughs> While we're big chilling, I just wanted to make sure y'all got your shout outs out as well, too. Yeah, and I think we kind of did throughout the course of the seed, but I'd like to shout out uh, Sky Bills for letting me on Yay. her show. Yo. Really appreciate it. Of course. Um, shout outs to um, Spike Vegeta and Mr. Rippy for joining me today. Um, it was a lot of fun. Glad you guys could make it. Yeah, I want to thank. Us. And we've said this. Oh, it's the bean! Oh, that oh, was. Let's go! Are you serious? Let's freaking go, dude! Are, are you serious? You, are you absolutely serious? That is are you not kidding me? possible. We got the That's bean! That's impressive. <laughs> cool. You can't. Yeah, you know what? That. Well, we we, you we can't write this. We right? have to yeah. plant the bean, right? Well, we got. We need. The well, we don't have coconut. Gun. Oh, you think we need coconut gun to plant the bean? Oh, yeah, Is that I what you're know. thinking? <laughs> uh, uh, you address Sanon's que Sanonzi's question from earlier with regards to what is and is not in logic, like. 
anything swimming through walls is outside of logic. Clipping yeah. is outside of logic, unless you specifically allow that to be in logic. Right now, we're going to see an example of some sort of uh, logic or sequence break. Kudos is, for those of you who don't know, a very, very, very accomplished old school speedrunner of Donkey Kong 64, of Donkey Kong 64 and the N64 and the Wii U Virtual Console. So he knows most of the tricks, and that includes skewing by swimming out of bounds here. So by bouncing off of that at a specific angle, your foot is go your bottom of your Kong is going to be at an angle. And the way that the hit detection on the walls is done is kind of wonky, where it only detects at like a certain angle. I'm butchering the explanation. I can't wait for the uh, uh, for Balam to explain why I was wrong in all of this in the um, task reveal later. But basically, by setting yourself at that backwards angle, you're able to walk through walls in ways that you shouldn't be normally able to. This is a glitch that you can actually do pretty easily in DK64 Randomizer with On Guard by jumping out and landing in wrong places. But yeah, as you saw right there, you were able to walk through the wall and just kind of wind up in the bean area. And I'm pretty sure this was in the 101% speedrun if it's not still in there. And I suspect it will be in the task somehow. Well, there's only one way to find out. And um, we actually have a community Twitch page that I probably should be shouting out as well. Um, if you, you go to twitch.tv slash DK64 speedruns, that's where we have all of our speedrun, I guess our speedrun streams, community stuff, randomizer, races, tournaments, etc. Um, hit up DK64 speedruns on Twitch. Um, give that a follow. Um, we stream our randomizer races weekly. Um, it's a good time. Yes, and those races are Friday evening and Sunday during the afternoon. Relative to Eastern Standard Time, United States time. Uh, for more information on when those weekly races are going to be, check out DK64Randomizer.com in the Discord. That's at Discord.DK64Randomizer.com. All right, are we ready for the next show? Otherwise, there's more stuff I can do. Checking in right now, attack. Uh, on my end, I want to just give a big shout out to all of the music people. I'm going to miss some of them, and I'm going to apologize for all of this. Shout outs to Schwartz Gandhi, Only Spaghetti Code, Wib Duo, um, Glitch Glider. We've also got so many other people who I'm just completely forgetting well fanny is a fantastic person uh we've also got sniper wave who i've spoken to a lot aaron doble who i've worked closely with on some music projects cmels who's done some great work adeline 64 ds umed muzzle um also shy guy supreme who doesn't contribute uh much but what they do contribute is fantastic and everyone else who's a music contributor who i didn't name here you all do fantastic work and i'm so glad and honored to be part of really just a cool ass community pardon my french i finally got my one swear in but <laughs> it's just cool to it's just cool to be making music with cool people especially trying to bang something as complex as like the rise of the triad stuff and making it fit inside mm -hmm. dk64 that that was a that was a fun project that i was part of and um yeah just shout out to everyone on the disc on the discord yeah and i also want to um i forgot to say the task reveal date um so it's going to be on dk64 speedruns um, on the Twitch channel, so it's going to be Saturday, February 24 at 2 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Um, so if you want to see 101% blown the frick open, we'll see you there. Yep, we still have a few more minutes, so if there's anything else you'd like to show us, any kind of tricks or any kind of uh, last-minute locations you'd like to check, go for it. You know what? Let's just let's just check the beetle race. I can't check the one in Nashville. Yeah, why not? But we're we're gonna go why see not? the beetle. Yeah, let's go. That's good. 
Dave's had all the stream. It had no seed value today, but it's got the stream value. I can't believe you found the bean. <laughs> that was poetic in a way that I don't even know if you could really write it down. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, if, if anyone's wondering where like some of these DK64 resources are, and you just gotta hit up the Discord. Discord.dk64randomizer.com. That's where you're going to find all the information you need. I also like to always throw this out for people wanting to get into DK64 Randomizer, because people ask this about randomizers all the time. Do I have to have played the vanilla game casually before? And I'm like, I don't think it's a bad idea by any means. But my good friend Kuiper, who's one of the top five players at DK64 Randomizer competitively, never played the game casually until he played it for this. And uh, yeah, he's pretty good at it. Well, I realize I can't check this oh my because gosh, I don't have Super Simian Slam. No. <laughs> Where are the butt slams? We can't do anything. We checked <laughs> all the checks you can in this game. Uh, uh, actually, about, actually, no, no, no. I, think, I think I got it. I think I got it. You got it? Uh, Logically, it I is think available I can skew somewhere. Here. I think we're okay. good. I was like, I have I an hope. idea if you can't. Oh, oh, mama. Oh, I just need to find oh. an enemy. Oh, oh this is, I like that. This is air swimming, by the way. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, that's actually very cute. Oh, that's not... Okay, well, there's an enemy that can help me, but I didn't get skewed enough. So we're going to try it again. I've got one other idea. If you've got nothing else, just let me know. All right, we're, we're going to see if I can make this work. Because skew is fun. You have uh, gotten 10 gift subs from Sound Defense. Hey, yo. So <laughs> they, uh, they should cover my bill. Fair enough. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get it. Spike, um, what did you All want right. me to do? Earlier in the seed, Tudos, you said, this will be the last check I do in the seed. <laughs> okay. I think that's poetic. Yeah. All right. I think that's appropriate. I, I like it. Well, go after that, so. All right, yeah. let's end on the owl. Oh, that's right. I forgot about gun skew. That's okay, though. We'll do the owl. <laughs> Yeah, this is, I think, uh, like like the mechfish, I would say Owl, this is another one of the five worst, and there are 201 golden bananas in this game. This is one of the another one of the five worst golden bananas in this game, casually. Yeah, because not only do you have to do this stupid race course, he doesn't give you the check right after you finish it. No, no. he gives you a bonus barrel to do to get the check. Um, now, you obviously, the with these luxury. settings, we don't have the bonus barrels on, so we'll just get the check. But man, I hate this check. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? These are all checks that very potentially have never been done on a GDQ stage. GDQ, mainline, everything has never done a 101% run or anything. So any of these like super long golden bananas have definitely never been done. Hasn't done a 101 yet. Yet? But I'm just saying, I'm telling you, man, 101 with tag anywhere fully routed, I'm just telling you. Tag anywhere probably in a 101%, I would guess, saves probably in the ballpark of 40 minutes or so. I'm throwing out a I think number. that may overshoot a little. I think it's more like 30. You think it's like 30, okay. But yeah, it saves a pretty good amount of time. <laughs> yeah. Um, we did shorten the owl race. Um, normally you have to do two laps and we shortened it to one. And one still feels a little bit in the long range. <laughs> Yeah, imagine it's about 12 laps around here. That's about what normal is. It feels like it. Those rings are 2D sprites. Yep. And it exists in a three-dimensional space. So if you feel like you're staring at it and it makes no sense visually, you're correct. All right, the All final right. check of the night. Bada bang, bada boom. Let's go, baby. All right. Thanks for watching, y'all. Um, hopefully see some new faces in DK6 for Randomizer community soon. We'd love to see ya.
All right. And I would like to thank y'all again, too. So again, please be sure to follow all of these fantastic folks. That is twitch.tv slash two dose, two as in the number dose, twitch.tv slash um, MR underscore R-I-P-P-E. And again, spelling these out for folks on YouTube that might be watching and twitch.tv slash Spike Vegeta, S-P-I-K-E-V-E-G-E-T-A. And of course, don't forget DK64randomizer.com, which we're counting those instead of O Bananas for sound next time. Anyways, folks, this is not the end. <laughs> this is not the end of our GDQ broadcast. Real quick, as a reminder, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits shared on the GDQ Twitch channel help support games done quick at fix. If you enjoy watching speedruns, consider subscribing to the channel. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, stay tuned for Time Capsule. I'm Skybills for GDQ Hot Fix Random Number Generation. Take it away, Tippy.